Okay. Let me just double check settings here for a second. Yep, now well, that's in good order. So, a little bit of context for this one, as I make it disappear again for a second while I juggle things around. I played the demo for this in one of the next fests a couple years back at this point. I think this might have actually been another one of the ones from the first next fest I covered. And there were some things about the demo I actually didn't like. Like this was one of the ones that actually kind of disappointed me a bit at the time. But I'm deciding to give it a second chance for two reasons. One. Thanks to the summer sale, it was like $8, so I was already a little bit more flexible at that point. Two, after I tried it because I picked it up for that rate, I noticed that the full version felt better. Now, there's multiple reasons why that could have happened, of course. Could be that they made it better, could be that there was some underlying issue I was having that caused it not to move correctly, which I had theorized at the time, I seem to recall. Point being, we're back at it with this. Hopefully it'll work out because there's so much good about this that I saw at the time. But I, you know, it just didn't vibe with me at the time. So let's see if this plays out. Yeah, just go ahead and overwrite that file. We will only be playing on normal because I don't think easy will be interesting and I don't think hard would be a good idea. So we'll be rolling with that. Stow away, huh? Drop your weapon now and we won't be forced to do this the hard way. The hard way? I won't even break a sweat. Stop this pathetic display. Surrender yourself now and maybe we won't have to have you executed. Giving up already? <laughs> I'm just uh, getting started. Captain, we've hit a massive storm. What? Bro, brace yourselves. Here it comes. Storm? What? Are you afraid of a little... Green bolt of lightning that breaks the ship in half? Yeah, probably. I would be too. That seems like a problem. Crazy purple stuff going on with that storm, too. That None of that seems normal. And that's gravity. Yep. Yep, that checks out. Well, that could have gone better. Looks like I'm stuck here until I find another ship. Need pulse to heal. Gain pulse by hitting things. Now, the thing I highlighted as really liking, in theory, at the time was the, the way combat works. Specifically, the depth of the combat you have at your disposal. Now, when I had played it before, it felt weirdly sluggish. It seems to be snappy and fast now. Hang on, something just popped up on my phone and I was trying to get rid of a different notification and ended up destroying that notification instead because it moved. So give me one second to make sure that wasn't something important. Oh, cell phones, why must you be a pain in my ass? Because for all I know, that might have actually been a very important notification. So. Come on, phone. Okay. Nothing vitally important. But it literally got destroyed the second it appeared, so I had to make sure. I Because I didn't even get a chance to read it. But yeah, you apply similar, like, juggling and, and things like that from, say, something akin to a Devil May Cry or anything like that, and you would basically have the main layer of how this works. The other thing being these pulse attacks that they're teaching us about now, which all pertain to us marking an enemy for it to be used on them, which is something I feel like I didn't fully process when I did the demo of this as well. And they probably smoothed it out a bit as well. Get that back. But yeah, you might think, oh, you're supposed to go to the right, but you're not. You actually go down this hole. 
Let me get this cursor off screen. Because for some reason it doesn't disappear on its own. Okay. Uh, actually, is there anything down there? Yes, there, there is disappointment down here. Uh, game? Why did the frames die for a second? Hang on. Like, obviously this isn't demanding enough that it should be losing frames for any reason, so what transpired there? Computer, freaking out. Now everything seems okay. Just had, like, a momentary stutter for a second. Which, in testing, it did not do, so that got my attention. Okay. Go ahead and break that, even though there's probably no point. I want that. No. I want that. I don't think I can get that right now. Day points restore your health, mana, and half of your pulse. You know, you don't need all of your pulse, clearly. Who needs their heart rate to work properly, really? Everything's fine. Okay, those boxes aren't real. They're just a suggestion of boxes. A little too slow. One when th facing a threat to block. Now, the thing that they're not telling you about block is your block is only temporary. It's actually more of a parry than a block. As you can see, you only hold your block up for a second. Well, this seems important. Guess I'll just... Oh, boy. After blocking, press square to counter. Use it to stun this enemy. Like that. See that blue meter? That means they're stunned and we can do all kinds of awful things to them while that meter is still in play. Like that. <laughs> now, I do remember that the thing about this combat system that I did not care for at the time, and I'm still a little mixed on it, is the fact that there is probably going to be a decent reliance on those pulse attacks. But now that they feel a bit smoother, I'm less opposed to that than I was. And, you know, feelings change over a couple of years a bit, too, so not as fussed about it. This key fits. Like, a little bit of this basic combat feels a little off, but I'm, I'm going to chalk that up to the fact that we're only just starting. But as you can see, you can clear a room pretty quick. And okay, it looks good while you're doing it. And what I recall from the demo is things took a lot longer to kill than that before. Because I think that was one of the things I remember being upset about was things took a bit to die. And I don't know if I'm just doing a better job this time or if they fixed that just got stabbed by a bunch of swords. That's probably not a bad thing. You just got the dash major memory. Press R1 to dash. Hey, we have a basic mechanic now. Yay. Also, this running animation. <laughs> it, it sure is a thing. You got the flame spiral spell. Press the pause button to pause the game. You can assign an input from the spell menu. I wonder why they're teaching me about, about that when we picked that one up, but we weren't able to use this one. And I also don't know why we just have that one. Okay, direction and circle to spell. Got it. Grabbing that key and coming back out, by the way, was what I tested. So it'll be memory from the demo now from here on, because this was the area from the demo as well. 
Oh, I seem to recall. Though it may have been modified since then. So that's good. Like 90% of this is smooth. Just every now and then it feels just ever so slightly weird. Okay. Since I I saw that the screen disappears when I click out of it, I was double checking to make sure the capture was still capturing. Okay, so presumably we go this way now. Busted up old computers. Ah, that make elevator go. Got it. Huh? Oh, good morning. Checking memory. What? Forgive me. I must have 17 corrupted regions detected. Oh my, that's no good. What are you talking about? I'm truly sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sherville. A scientist specializing in extra-dimensional magical research, working under Asphodel. Or at least I was, until... Asphodel? You work for him? Tell me where he is or I'll beat out of you. I wish this text would go a little faster. I read faster than this text moves. I... I don't know. But if I did, I'd have some words. And I don't work for him. Not anymore. Not after what he did to us. <sighs> Waste of time. Wait. Excuse me, but what is it? What is your business with him? He's my father. I'm going to kill him. And that blade, it's his, isn't it? It's hazy, but I seem to recall it somewhat. Yeah, I recognize the symbol engraved in the blade. His family crest. That must be how you know he's here. Ah, what's with all the questions? Stop being so nosy or I'll change my mind about not kicking your ass. I know, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, but please take me with you. I need to see him once mo one more time. He betrayed me and my friends, and I know he's planning something terrible. I just, for once, I want to tell him off. You're insane if, I, if you think I'm dragging you around all these damn islands. But I can help. Despite my memory loss, I know how to get around here, and I can pilot airships. I do need a pilot. Crap. Fine, but don't expect me to wait for you or anything. That's quite all right. I need to collect some thoughts before I leave anyway. I'll catch up. Thank you. Well, we've got a robot that'll pilot airships for us now, I guess. So that's a thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I think this was another thing that I was not 100% sure I would have felt was the need to break boys to move enemies. Which, you know, it makes sense, but... It would be more dynamic and entertaining if you could just knock them around. But I understand that it's necessary for making it not just a complete cakewalk when you just slam enemies around the room constantly. Wow, my timing is just a mess suddenly. I blame the fact that I was trying to get that thought out. Oh good, on the backswing you can mark enemies too. Okay, so I don't have to catch them on the way out. Good to know. Oh, speaking of good to know, good to know there's more of you. alive you hit hard i definitely blocked there but i think i got caught in my own animation there instead of being able to block let's go the other way first shall we ah this just opens this up which does i think yeah allow us to grab this this was the door i avoided at the be very beginning uh, there is that pink thing down below over here, too. Do I really want to run all the way back around? Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's go quickly grab that. 
Otherwise, I'm going to forget it exists and we're going to be missing that at later on. Might be handy to clear my head after screwing that up anyway. Besides, health pieces after the way I just got demolished seemed like a good idea. I also forgot this because I found this when I was doing my testing. Just a little bit of money, but you know, every little bit. And it really isn't that far a walk back because we literally just warped past this and we're back where we were already. So, no point in worrying about that over much. Of course, now I gotta push this idiot back onto the button. There we go. I had a moment of concern there when the door popped back up again. Really thought I was about to get screwed on that deal. And yeah, this was just that door. Nothing else? Yeah. Alright. Let's try to do better in this very early fight, shall we? You'd probably expect me to be blocking and using the dodge a lot more than I am. Not to mention, you know, actually pulse attacking more. Because part of my brain is kind of locked into the idea of trying to conserve that for when I need the health. But we get pulse back easy enough, I really should just be using it. And there's a certain amount of bounce to the movement in this that is actually really satisfying. Hey, we're taking this ship. Taking? As in stealing it? Oh my. Of course we're stealing it. Do I look like I own an airship? I mean, you are the, the child of somebody important, so technically you could? I'd better leave a note. I'm sorry, who is this? Travel to this island is strictly regulated. Shell, explain yourself in the next five seconds, or I'll decommission you right here. Do I know? Do you know her? I don't recall. And you? Where did you get that sword? Hand it over. Now. You know, you two look kind of similar. How about you, you come and take it? <laughs> Are you seriously threatening me? You have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? Fine, then. I'll take it back myself after I've killed you. That hammer does look concerning. Oh, my. Well, Stromeria, leave this island immediately and come see me. But, but this woman has the pulse edge in this shell. Trust me, I understand the situation perfectly. You need to come home immediately. You, what's your name? Vernal. Vernal, I'll finish this later. Coward, get back here. Instant unassisted reality, unreality travel? How on earth did you do that? Why is she taking orders from some stupid ghost? Ghost? Oh, that was a telecom. I forgot. Not that they don't have them on the surface. And that ghost was a projected image of Asphodel. What? She's with him? How did you not recognize him either? Didn't, you, didn't it just come up a minute or two ago that he was your father? But I guess that's probably part of why you want to kill him, is not knowing him to begin with. There's probably a lot of things to unpack here already. And I feel like the, the fact that those two looked similar, probably gonna come up later, too. I thought you would have recognized him. Here. Take this separate telecom. We can communicate at a distance with this, so you don't have to wait for me to catch up. Alright, let's get off this rock. It seems like a good idea at this point. Uh... What's the matter? Nothing, okay? Just deciding where to go. Well, our first priority is to gather information. Asphodel could be anywhere, so we have a lot of searching to do. Keep in mind the haze around certain islands. Those are unreality storms. Unfortunately, it means we can't approach those islands right now. 
But yeah, we just have an airship and we can fly around now. In a very original PlayStation-esque open segment here. Whee! So, Pyrena with one threat level. Tower of Battle with threat level three. That seems like a bad idea. How about over here? Fallen Tower with threat level two. Gee, I wonder, could this be a logical progression from one gem to two gem to three? Nah, that would make too much sense, but we're doing it anyway. Or we might get kicked out of here by Buckethead over there. We'll find out. It's nice to know that society is still bustling somewhat since the islands rose. <sighs> it's crawling with church goons, though. Indeed, we should be careful not to instigate them. The Church of Alo is rarely forgiving. I know, I know. Welcome to Pyrena, Traveler. If you have any questions or concerns, the Church of Alo is here to assist you. Somehow I doubt that. You just refuse to acknowledge the existence of others. Yep, that seems about right. Psst! Down here! Down here, down here? Yep, down here, down here. You look like someone who can swing a sword. What do you say I teach you a thing or two? For a fee, of course. Fee? Don't they already pay you for being a church lackey? A lackey like me doesn't make much. They say it's because we shouldn't feel attached to worldly possessions. Sure seems like it took a lot of, whole lot of worldly possessions to build that stupidly huge ship. Eh, whatever. You gonna buy something? I'll take a look. Okay, you teach a lot of techniques, huh? Ground up charge, down charge, aerial up and down. All of which more expensive than the money I have. So I'll get back to you about that idea at some point. And to think, even with stealing their money, we couldn't afford their wares. Hmm. It's really a shame, huh? I never imagined the islands of Harakot would have such amazing tea leaves. The flora here has truly an otherworldly aroma. I haven't had anything like it. It was quite the expense to get here as well, what with the church of yours restricting travel. It was definitely worth it. Guess I'm not getting in there yet. Okay. Save point. Hey, what? A memory thing? Greetings. My name is Sen. You look gullible enough to purchase something, am I correct? I, hey, I know a con job when I see one. You're not tricking me into buying this. Are you sure? It's a steal at only nine, nine billion nine hundred pieces. Uh huh. Even if I did have that kind of money, it wouldn't be worth it. My my, you saw right through me. You're much smarter than you look, it seems. Hmm, how about we work out some sort of trade instead? Trade, huh? I'm listening. There's this rare powder I've been after, a medicine that I need to help my dear sweet brother recover from spore sickness. But I haven't been able to get my hands on it. If you see any merchants selling it in any neighboring towns, I'd be willing to trade you this memory disc for that. You're definitely lying about your brother. Now why would I lie? Not that it matters, after all... I've only got uh, the only copy of this memory, and I know you need it. Uh, I'll get your dumb medicine. You know, we could just stab you for that memory disc. There's not really anybody guarding right here, and your head's not attached that hard. One good swing, and the head probably would leave your shoulders before anybody knew what happened. Just, you know, just a thought. Don't, don't worry about the fact that I was just threatening that merchant over there. Everything's fine. I'm just here to guard the market. In exchange for my service, I get some free groceries. Pretty sweet deal. Sure. Hey, what are these disc things you're selling? I've seen them before. These? Oh, these are memory discs. You just saw one a few feet back. You, oh, you almost got swindled to buy one. Do you, are you just stupid? They contain, hmm, memories. Reading them gives you knowledge that you would otherwise not have. Got anything with combat techniques? Yes, actually. 
I have a few on hand if you'd like to look. What do you got? You got air block, which would actually be quite nice to have. Deflection lets us, ooh, send damage back when we parry. That also would be nice. Projectile reflecting, yes, yes. <laughs> if only that were that easy to buy, just buy a sense of direction. I'd be buying that for many people I know and probably getting an upgrade for myself. Hello there. Looks like you have a lot of frilling items on your person. Pretty knowledgeable about trinkets and such, so if you have a question about anything, show me one of them and I'll see if I can enlighten you. Hmm, what's the catch? I don't get far from this island these days, so seeing where others have been th through their goods is reward enough. Now then, do you have anything to show me? Sure. You might be able to tell me things about a lot of these random things that I brought with me. Say, that's a nice coat you've got there. I have very fine material. Hands off, I'm not selling this. And I'm not buying. I was just remarking on how fine the material is. It reminds me of the robes they wore at Vinehurst College. This one looks like it was customized. Very nice. You should take good care of it. I do. I'm not, I'm not gonna show the letter because that's gonna get awkward probably, but I'm curious to see what the reaction to these two are. The gloves you have there. These are some of the finest gloves I've ever seen. Definitely looks like the ones guards used to wear at the old capital. Where exactly did you get these? I got them from a friend. Why are you... You know what, I'm better off not knowing the answer to that question. Aha, fellow warrior, I see. Tell me, do you have any tales of heroism to share? Uh, no? A shame, you look a battle hardened. I have a glorious tale to tale of my own, if you'd like to hear it. This is gonna be stupid, but sure, let's hear it. Why not? It was in a far off place. I'd been hired to wake a sleeping dragon that made its bed in a valley famous for its trade routes. There was a problem, of course, as dragons are notoriously heavy sleepers. I wish. And moving the beast was necessary for trade between the kingdoms. But fear not, I said to my contractor, I have just the thing to wake the beast. And so I packed my bags and set off to the, reach a mystical spring where I knew a certain species of boar may be able to wake this, help me sw wake this sleeping dragon. Why a species of boar? That sounds... Yeah, exactly. How is a boar supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, what a good question. You'll have to come back a bit later if you want to hear the full extent of the story, I'm afraid. Presentation is everything, after all. Ugh, really? Whatever. Yeah, that's about as useless as I expected that to be. There's so many problems with this story. You shouldn't listen to this drivel. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Ever since the church took over operations of the dock, us town guards have had to work in the lower levels of the city. Temperature's nice down here out of the sun, at least. But it's just so boring. Okay, you don't, you don't have anything. This, the floor you're standing on doesn't even exist, so I'm just going to disregard that you're there. Did you know that there's a rare species of flower called a rising star known only to grow here in Haruka? I'd love to see it someday. If it grows here, how haven't you seen it? Really? What's it look like? It's a pink five-petaled flower famous for its culinary applications. Usually they're quite small, but with enough care, their stalks can grow taller than we are. And it's not the pink flower that's right in front of you. I know it's kind of purpley pink, but are you sure it's not the one that's literally at your feet right now? It sounds cool, I guess. I, I'm not convinced it's not this flower that's right here at your feet, sir. And if I find out it is, you might be taking a ride on that windmill blade for the rest of your life. Just, just saying. That's a fine sword you've got. You look like you could hold your own in a scrap. Have you seen the arena? They managed to capture some of those horrible creatures, and for a fee, a brave warrior can fight them before an audience. I've traveled from afar to Harikot so that I might join the fray, but every coin I own went to the docking fee. I suppose now I know why travel between here and the surface is mostly commercial. Yeah, because everybody's busy ripping each other off constantly. These bandits have the courtesy of being upfront about things. I was he church. Ooh, 
that gets real, doesn't it? Oh, that gets real. <laughs> Yikes. Now, this area was listed as threat level 1, but I haven't even seen anything here. So how is this threat level 1 to begin with? Unless maybe they're counting the arena? Maybe there is, like, a hostile area somewhere around here. Some sawdust for brains, Yahoo's gone and hammered pegs all up and down my windmill. Look! Ooh, there's something up there, though. Can't start the windmill until those things are removed, and that could take all the ever-loving day by the look of things, and then I'll have to patch the holes afterwards. Why would someone do that? I sure don't know. Must have been some fool kids putting each other dares. Looks like they left some junk up on the main shaft as well. Well, that I'll take care of for you. Nope. I'm on your windmill. You can't stop me. Drink. This is mine now. Yeah, I cleaned up your mess for you somewhat. You're on your own for these pegs, though. You're really trying my patience. You know that? I'll keep doing it, then. What you gonna do about it? You don't have a sword or anything. It's not like you can stop me. And this is just being annoying. I doubt this is against the law around here. Because otherwise, the whole church would be locked up by now. Okay, turns out there's nothing down there. The things you learn by jumping off cliffs. One, gravity hurts. Two, there wasn't a floor down there. Is there anything in here? It is. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Hello, Traveler. That's quite an interesting-looking weapon. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. You can't have it. Oh, I wasn't interested in that sense. It's just that you carry yourself like someone who's been experienced... who has experienced quite a lot of combat. And I've never seen you around here before. What, you want to fight? I don't take any fights. I don't have to. You should do the same. And serve your energy. Live longer. Got plenty of energy to fight, and so it seems I can help you channel that energy more effectively if you'd like to listen to some advice. I have quite a bit of experience. Sure. Your pulse attacks allow you to heal damage to your body by siphoning magical energy. Make sure you take advantage of this ability often, but be sure to wait for a good opening since there's a short delay before the healing powers absorb. How do you know about that? This ability is all I know of that weapon. Take care not to tell anyone you've heard this from me. So, interested in any more of my advice? No, it doesn't sound like that advice is gonna be anything major. <sighs> I've got more important things to do. I don't know. It probably is important to listen to that advice, but what if I had listened to good advice? Let's be honest here. Okay, we're not getting that yet. I need some kind of wall jump or double jump or something to get up there. So it looks like there's a whole lot of bugger all here for us currently. A lot of dialogue, a lot of NPCs, and a lot of nothing helpful. It's nice to know. Okay, you're still saying the same things. So I guess this is basically just a stop. Oh, wait, there's more stuff over here. Hey, have you seen Amaranthus around here recently? No, I guess I haven't. He's missed duty before, but it feels like it's been a while. Maybe he got shipped off to one of those special missions happened to someone I used to patrol with. Haven't seen her since. Maybe. Just don't mention it to the captain, okay? Yeah. That seems suspicious. Hey! Step away from that barricade. That area of town is off limits by order of the Church of Aloe. You're not listening, are you? Well, it doesn't matter. It's not like you can break it. See, now you're just tempting me to break it. I know I can't yet, probably, but... You make it sound like I want to. Our battle's not where we're going to want to go, because that's three. I guess we'll go here to the Fallen Tower after I smack my blimp into it.
Oh my, this tower must have been destroyed when the islands first rose. It's abandoned too. Makes sense. It appears that you may need to climb the exterior to get inside. I'll figure it out. Let's not jump off that side. That looks like pain. I want up. Up. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I can't. Hmm. Like, it's hard enough to actually manage to get up on that ledge in the first place, apparently. I've only managed to land that grab once. Why are... Uh, Vernal, why are you not grabbing? Vernal, please. Please. Huh. Don't let me confused and kind of concerned. Because if we can't go that way, and this probably hurts me, sure does. Was going near pointless right now? Like it, it almost seems like this is here to generate pulse for us for some purpose, like for an ability we don't currently have. Hmm. So I guess we're not going that way yet either. Hey, if you're not gonna help me fight, why are you wearing that stupid armor? Armor? Oh goodness, this isn't armor. I'm a human soul in a mechanical body. Don't screw with me. I suppose it sounds strange, but I'm not lying to you. My colleagues and I abandoned our human bodies at the request of Asphodel. Why would you do something that stupid? I would love to tell you, but I can't remember. The only thing I recall is that we were all so dedicated to him that we accepted it near unanimously. I'd give anything to go back on it. He deceived me, but more importantly, he deceived my closest friends, stole our humanity on false pretenses. I can never forgive that. It does seem really odd to just be like, oh yeah, we'll we'll just go into robo bodies. Fungal minds. I mean this is also threat level two. Maybe this is the way we're supposed to be going first. Have you ever been here before, Vernal? No, why? This place seems eerily familiar. You're not gonna follow me inside, are you? What? No, I... Uh, good, I'd rather not have to have distractions while I'm in there. I really thought I was clear of that attack, but apparently I was not. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Nope, can't break through that. Yeah. This very clearly relates to another ability, too. But at least we saw some combat before <laughs> running into a wall. Hang on. Aha! These do work. So that's our way around that mechanic being necessary at the moment. I'm gonna assume that means that's on a timer. Huh. Ah, what the hell? I'm sorry to startle you. This is the telecom I gave you earlier, remember? This is the hologram function. Oh, right. If I recall, there were minerals being mined here that were important for creating soul interfacing devices. There might be some relevant information here. You sure remember a lot for someone who's lost their memory. Most factual information seems to have been seem to have remained, but my personal experiences are all a blur. Ah, that's convenient. This seems unsafe. Doing it anyway. Wee. 
Oh, I got a thing. Ah, the map for this area. It's a pretty decent map. Okay. Can't go up that way because presumably these activate the elevator, but we can't activate that yet. Okay. I got poisoned by something. This machine's missing its handle. I can't start it. Annoying. Hmm. Oh, when in doubt, run around randomly and something will eventually work itself out. That is not the direction... Okay, it looks like those things are too small for me to pulse anyway. Break us a shortcut in case the worst happens. This seems like a combat room. Yep. Whoa there. I managed to hit him with his friend. Perfect like, planning that I wish I had actually planned. I really need that air blocking move. Oh my god. I keep getting caught just slightly off the ground and getting screwed. Why am I going backwards? You would think I would be paying attention where I'm going. But you'd be wrong. This seems like a really bad idea. Hey! What's up, buddy? Get wrecked, nerd. Anyway, that's the thing that happened. Yum. Really? You just blocked the doors for that one guy, huh? Okay. Yeah, there's just a certain tempo to the blocking that I just need to catch and I'm just not quite getting. But it'll be fine. Like, this guy, I can block just fine for the most part. But obviously, he's the big slow guy. I'd be real disappointed in myself if I couldn't block him. Oh, so the elevators just didn't have power. It's not that I needed a different ability to activate them. They just needed to be powered on. Okay. That actually... Really should have been something I assumed, huh? I assume this elevator will lead back to where we were. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, that's exactly where we came from. Which, actually, I should go back then. Is the idea... No, this isn't active. Okay. I thought that would have been activated when everything else was. But maybe this is only, like, local power. It was worth a shot. We... Okay, good. I, I wasn't sure if dashing there was gonna work, but, you know, I wanted the money. So, obviously, I sent it. Further down? Further down. Yeah. 
It's a good thing this game gives you a way to heal with how easy it is to incidentally be caught by something's attack. Because you're trying to engage with the, the combat system and you just make a mistake of getting just a little too into that. That does seem like you have iframes of some kind, perhaps? Either that or his attack just has a very strange hitbox. Which, you'll note that they don't seem to do contact damage, which might be part of why he ended up not being able to hit me there, as I might have been too close to him, so his attack just went past where we were. There's the lever I need. Oh, it's poisonous down here. I don't know if I'm able to go in that, so let's go this way first and come back to that. Or not. Never mind. Well, let's find out if this kills me. Seems to be okay. Just purple down here? Question mark? Oh, the bubbles are bad, though. The bubbles are obviously bad. I can't seem to destroy them. So, you know what? Fuck it. Oh! Way to go, brain. Way, way to think that through. Where I crushed myself with the elevator. So, they do immediate damage, as it turns out, on top of doing the poison damage. I thought they were just gonna all stack poison, so I'm like, yeah, hell with it. We'll just go all in, and it'll be fine. It, uh, pro tip, wasn't fine. We didn't die, though, which is surprising. So we're just gonna run back to the save point that was upstairs, and, uh, pretend that didn't happen. Nothing bad happened. This is the way we went before. But we went up, not down. Definitely gonna be relying on doing pulse attacks down here in order to keep myself intact, it seems. But I have a sneaking suspicion that I shouldn't do that. And what we probably should do is go back to where we saw that... We saw that switch that needed the lever, this one right here. I've got a handle on the situation now. Not a handle on any kind of sense of humor, but, you know, we tried. Huh. Okay, that just dropped me down here, huh? Okay. What does that do for me? Make me walk all the way back around. That's what it does for me. Okay. Where am I going? <laughs> okay, to a memory thing. Ow. You got the ground slam major memory. Press left stick down and X while in the air to smash floors and slide on slopes. Okay, the sliding's kind of fun. And now we can break all of those wooden things that were blocking our way all over in this place. And I'm betting I could only use this door with this bit of flooring there. Whee! Ah! Okay, so those fans don't need anything extra activate hit them. They just need to be cleared of the wood that's blocking them. Who blocked up all the fans with planks of wood, though? That seems like an odd decision to make. Somebody's doing sabotage. Actually, I should use this first. Of course, now this thing's blocking the shaft, so I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But it's fine. Now we can clear the air down here, too. And finish this thought. Punk. 
And then I don't have to face tank my way through this. It's almost like I didn't have to do that in the first place. But I think I did need that lever to get to the... the ability. No, oh, there's an enemy down there. How nice for you. You can stay down there. Bye. Turn on the power. Ooh. That's the catch, huh? Is I gotta go back through down here and deal with him. Oh yeah, I found a random memory point. Get parried. Okay, so with the power on, I presume the door up there is out of the way. Yep. And now we can do whatever it is we do by going over here. Hmm. So that's how you're gonna be, huh? Hmm. I can't go further up from here. Oh, going down was a mistake. Well, I live down here now, huh? This is fine. Need a lever again? Yep. I just can't handle it. Oh, wow, that does pull the poison from all the way over there. Okay. I broke that just on a lark in case I was going to need to keep poison from going in there at some point. Turns out, no, it just affects the whole area for reasons. And that's how you want to play this, huh? Okay. There we go. Easy. We now have health extension. Hooray! And touching these levers is now completely pointless. With the amount of damage things do, it's really nice to be getting any kind of health extensions. It's like every little touch was demolishing chunks of our health. Yeah. Which seemed like it was going to be a problem. I don't like the fact that this is traveling slow. Yeah, because they're going to expect me to dodge things. And go around. Yep, this is, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. So I think they fell off when they got here, so in the end it didn't matter that I wasn't along for the ride the whole way. remind me of something, and I just can't quite place it. Like, not directly something, but like art, art style-wise, they seem very similar to something. My brain's just not locking onto what it is. Whoop. Well, you know what? We got the lever, and that's all we really needed. Like, obviously, this game's trying to evoke a lot of... of nostalgia in some ways, and a lot of... give you the same ideas as a lot of older... or things in general. It won't turn on. Must need more power. Probably that lever I'm gonna go place. But I... Brain is not braining enough to tell me what I'm thinking of. Yep, 
There we go, another generator activated. Oh, these move up and down now. I was just wondering how we were going to get back out of down here if we needed to. And now we know. That's probably how they moved the ore up and down in these long shafts. Is this active now? It is. Combat segment? Colonel, if you don't mind me prying, I've been wondering about oh, your intentions since we first met. Didn't Vernal literally say they were planning to kill their father? I don't really know what else you have to ask about intentions with. What do you mean? That is to say, why exactly it is that you want to kill Asphodel? I know very well that he is far from a good person, but still, he's your own father. It's none of your business. Just shut up about it. Vernal, I think it's reasonable for me to know why you seem so adamant about this. Surely there's a reason why. Are you stupid or something? I told you to shut up about it. I, I'm sorry, I just... Oh, am I interrupting something juicy? Oh god. Weird little ribbon pixie. Who the hell are you? The name's Patch. Pleased to meet you. The Church of Aloe is very interested in you, and especially that sword of yours. I was told we want you alive, but something tells me it's going to take a whole lot of fighting to get make you give it up. Fine, I'll fight you as long as it takes for you, to, you and your stupid church to get off my back. Hmm, I don't feel like fighting today, sorry. I've got some friends who want to take a crack though. Okay, so it's a minion summoning bit here, okay. Summoning that into you is enough to do damage to, huh? Okay. Noted. Fucking noted. Don't know if I approve of that. I feel like when it's on it on the pullback like that, it probably shouldn't be solid anymore, but you know, what do I know? We still have the... Yeah, we do still have the health extension. Okay. And no ma other spells just magically appeared. Since we had that other one be a little weird about that, I wanted to make sure. Okay. Running, 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 running. Now, we're gonna have to have that dialogue again? No. Good. wrong on the poise and that's really gonna keep getting me in trouble I think oh I have no pulse that's why I was like why can't I pulse attack him because I used all my pulse already Ow. that said round two mostly going significantly better come on now how did that cancel my attack Really lost all of that healing, huh?
actually, I just finally got a, a proper feel for what this reminds me of mechanically. Actually reminds me a lot of a treasure game, both in the fact that it's a, a slightly strange interplay between mechanics that aren't usually used together too much, and it's really difficult. <laughs> Like, it will probably become incredibly easy feeling once I fully wrap around the mechanics of it and actually start working with the mechanics instead of fighting them. But at face value, it seems incredibly difficult. It's like, right now, the poise system is what's killing me. I just cannot control my enemies enough to not just get bashed for half my health immediately. It's the classic problem of if I was just a little bit more patient with how I fought, we'd have no problems. The other option being timing my attacks just ever so slightly better would also solve 90% of my issues so far. And mostly I think my main issue that's causing some of the, the poise problems is just the fact that I don't really like these charge attacks that much. but I kind of have to use a lot of them to break that poise as far as I've been able to tell so far. Because you'll notice, once their poise is broken, it's a joke. These things are absolutely non-threatening. But especially like against this guy, for example, breaking his poise is kind of a nightmare because of the fact that he will just destroy you with Spike Ball, which covers his entire her model. Wow, that jump goes further than I think it does. There we go, get rid of the healer. Okay, stomping doesn't work. I wanted to test that right quick. While we were already kind of in a bad spot. As you can see, sometimes this goes super smoothly. You just have to get in just that right flow with it, and it works perfectly. <laughs> Wowee, you completely destroyed those guys. Guess I'll have to come back with better fighters. See ya. Phew, needed that. Using instant unreality transport on all those nights. Something doesn't add up. Be careful around that one, Inverno. Oh, we did it and we didn't die. This looks pretty important. Are you still there, Cheryl? You know what this is? Hmm, quite possibly. This mineral is something in that the miners have risked their lives for shortly before the islands rose. Doink. I was one of those vocal about shutting the operation down. The mines have been filling up with poison gas, and the miners were res were having respiratory issues. But Asphodel urged the operation to continue. He convinced me and the others that his plan was going to be worth their sacrifice. Why the heck would you listen to him? He was very convincing. He had a certain charisma about him. A way of getting others to believe that him and his vision are what matter most. Of all the things I've forgotten, I can never forget his manipulation. So that's why you're on board with helping me, huh? 
Indeed. His plan cannot be left to continue. Of this, I am certain. Okay, we got a thingy. It, that's all we know about it is it's a thingy. <laughs> we know it's important and we know it's a mineral. It's all we got. So we went through that whole place and that's all we got out of it. The good news is if we go back to town, there's at least one thing we can break through now. I'd prefer to wait with the ship again. I've been thinking about what happened because of me, the miners, the gas. I get it. I'll be back when I'm back. Well, good news, I'm back. There might be other things to get in there, but for the moment, that seemed like the main thing. So what I'm going to do is go back and get the thing I know I can go get before I forget that it's there. You would think since the, the church wants the sword that they wouldn't be letting us just walk through the town that they're watching over so easily either. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, this thing. Whatever this is. Ah, it's another memory point. Which I don't actually know what those do either. Oh, once we get more of these, we'll probably have to be spending those points in order to use them. Okay. Yeah, it... We can afford some of this now. But, oh, I might actually want to go buy the other thing. Because remember, I was complaining about not having airborne parry. I don't remember if we can afford it, though. I don't know if we got enough. But I think 14,000 is enough to buy at least one thing that they had over here. And what they had is... Probably going to be more important to me than those attacks at the moment. Air block is in our range of purchase. Sense of direction was the other one that I probably should get. But I'll get air block first and we'll get a sense of direction later. We can also show you this mineral and figure out what it does, hopefully. If you've got questions about any item you're carrying, show me and I'll try to explain it. What the fuck is this? I'm afraid I can't make heads or tails of this. Bird brain. Useless fucking bundle of feathers. There's another way back up over here, right? I don't have to use the elevator. Yeah, if I just go this way, I get back up there, I think. Not really quicker, but, you know. I know, we do still have to use the elevator, we just can get to the elevator the other way. Better than nothing. Now, I don't think that gets us in over here, because we didn't gain any abilities to let us go higher. I've been meaning to ask, Ronald, how did you get that sword exactly? Why would I tell you? That w the way that woman in the address reacted, it's as if it was hers and her hammer looked to be of the same materials. Did you steal it from her? But no, I found it. Hmm. Vernal? Don't Vernal me. Serious. Fell out of the sky onto my camp. It nearly killed me. See, the engraving on the side is the same shape as my belt buckle. That's right, you did mention this earlier. It is convenient that your father tends to constantly engrave things with his family crest. I assume this belt was his too? Yes, it's the only lead I had to find him, so I kept... Is there any reason you haven't disposed of it now that you've tracked him down? Um, uh, this coat's too big for me. I kind of need it. How young is Vernal? That's actually a good question. What else do you have to say? There must be some clue as to Asphodel's whereabouts on at least one of these islands. It would be wise to check as many as you can. You can see which islands you haven't visited on the map. There's actually a lot more islands than I thought. Hold up. Allo Air Fortress. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a great idea right now. We'll come back to that idea in a minute. Arboretum. Just gonna fly around and have a look at the rest of these places and see what difficulties they are. 
Shaded Cavern's another two. Okay, we'll go to this one. I'm basically going to hit all the twos before we start doing threes, because I presume that they are meant to be done in that order. As I mentioned before. Am I right about that? I don't know. Just rolling with that at logic, is because that's the only logic I have to work with at the minute. So far, I'm being rewarded, so I'll take it. And this does need the ability that I gained where we just were, so... The logic continues to track so far. The effects in this game do seem to get in each other's way a bit, so that's not great. Like, our healing energy seems to block visibility of projectiles. That could be a bit of a problem. Or is that... No, that's just the pulse we're gaining, I think. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh, these are red. I presume they are stronger. Yep. They've got belly death lasers. It's kind of wild how Vernal both moves really well and not at the same time. Like, there are just certain movements you cannot do. But with how the rest of the game moves, I keep thinking I can do that and catching myself out constantly, realizing I can't. But it's probably just a matter of getting used to it. Like, none of it feels bad, just... I keep thinking there's things I can do that I can't. It might even just be that I just can't do them yet. That's always an option. Since we have gained, like, a dash, which is one of the things I would have expected to have, and all that. I do like that all the, the small enemies give you health. Oh, very readily. So it doesn't seem like you're too frequently in need of healing, unless you're actively in a fight. And you can heal in a fight just fine, so... And that's not a major ordeal either. I think that's the first time we've actually needed to use the dash in order to travel. Oh, we got green guys now, who seem to, yep. Do poison explosions. Hate that for me. Okay, when the when the explodey guys explode though, they destroy themselves, so that's helpful. Okay, so the big gems are four hits, it looks like. Four or five. Noted, noted. Trying to tell me that that charge attack didn't hit him before his spikes made contact. Ah, uh, that's embarrassing. Can't break through that from this side. They really just have memory ports, points just laying around, huh? Just imagine if every memory point I picked up was somebody else's memories and I'm just stealing them. Like, nope, these are mine now. That that person you met at three years ago's name? Nope, that's mine now. That person you hardly talked to's birthday? Nope, that's gone too now. What a shame, all of these memories you left behind. All of them are mine now. They fuel my power. Did you make a noise or am I losing my mind? I'm losing my mind. Anyway. Aha! 
Oh, aha, aha. There we go. And please. Fun fact, if you're holding down, it doesn't always count it for the down slam. Probably should be using the D-pad. D-pad might be more effective for this. There may be like just a bit of stick float that's causing some of the issues I've been running into. Keep going on. Oh right, I don't have the map for this area. I just keep thinking I have the map for this place because of the fact that we got the map immediately in the last zone. I know I'm going backwards for the record. I'm just going back and checking the beginning for a quick second. Because we kind of sprinted straight in and I'm now worrying that I've missed something. No, no, I was right. I did hear something. Just nothing that I need to worry about. There we go. I get the feeling that you might not be able to get back out. <sighs> Colonel, please. Grab the ledges. Yep, yeah, so we grab the thing that was up here. The ship's just chilling here. Right, we did look the other way. Oh, yeah! Servo's not outside the ship here, which is weird. We, we, that was the thing I think that clicked in my brain. I went to go talk to him to see if he had anything useful to say, and he's not here. Money run cycle away. Yeah, the, the directional response with the D pad is working out better so far. I get so used to using the stick because it's more comfortable, is the thing. That's what gets me in trouble all the time. Is for two-dimensional movement, the D-pad is absolutely better. But, I've yet to find a particularly comfortable D-pad on any controller. Like, they're almost always just the right size that some part of it pokes my finger the entire time no matter how I'm using it and it upsets me after a while like it's not a major thing it's just like you know it'd be great if this stick was more precise but you know old controller precision is gonna fall apart at some point anyway that's just nature of the beast Was I already up here? No, I wasn't. It is a pity that you can't charge attack somebody that's already stunned to refresh the duration on the stun. Um, so that's how this is gonna work, huh? You hit those and then it activates a bunch of targets you gotta go break. And presumably the gigantic pile of arrows coming out of me is where all the targets are. Which, credit to them for giving you direction as to where the targets are. That's very kind of them. They could have expected you to run all over this goddamn place with no clue where you're looking.
the sheer amount of arrows is not that much better than no direction to a certain degree since they're kind of all overlaying over each other it's not entirely helpful but it's better than nothing by a long shot and i have nothing but appreciation for that Can I also say how happy I am that this is not timed, apparently? Which is what I was worried it was at first when I saw all those arrows pop up. I thought it was like the arrows were going to disappear. Because they were like a time counting device. I stand corrected. Turns out it is timed and it just doesn't tell you that. Well, that is incredibly unfortunate and I was getting suspicious of that when I saw the target starting to shake and I just didn't want to think about that possibility. I was just refusing, refusing that reality and uh, turns out, nope, nope, that's exactly how that works and I'm sad now. Oh, hey, I found my way back to the ship. There's a temptation to leave this hellhole, but unfortunately, I'm pretty confident I need to be here. Thankfully, we know where some of the targets are now. So there's gonna be less hesitance in how I move towards them. I also need to remember that there's really not that much of a limitation on how we use our dash. So I really should be using it to traverse a little faster. There's one down here too, so let's sweep that up. We're going infinitely quicker than we did last time already, so... We should have a decent amount of time to go find the last two. Which presumably will be on this path I'm on right now. One more. And got it. Which presumably... Oh, that was not for progress. Huh. Well then, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Like, I guess I should be thankful that that wasn't for progress, because that means if that was, if those become too big a headache, I don't have to do them, probably. But at the same time, it leaves me wondering, well, where am I going? <laughs> uh... That's so far been the biggest thing with this is there's a distinct lack of clarity as to where I'm going and that's fine. That just means I have to explore. But we don't even have like a starting point for logic to really go from aside from what I said before about the fact that this place use the ability that we gained so presumably this is at least on some level correct but i have no way of knowing that there's even anything else on this island because we're kind of running out of doors to hit for this place so it's entirely possible this was just for that health extension Because since we don't have the map for the area, I can't verify that. And we don't have other areas connected to this one to... Like, try to narrow the field with at all. So I think I'm going to leave this 
little island for the second and see if there's somewhere else to go rather than trekking all up and down the shaded cavern and not finding anything considering like i said i'm pretty confident we ran all up and down that whole place this is where we started right yeah that's the abandoned lab we came from there's the fungal mines we did the whole whole bit at already how about this little rock all the way out here little flower sure i don't mean to pry but what exactly are we doing here vernal i saw something from the ship and wanted to check it out shouldn't we be trust me it's worth it is it though is it nothing here but this pathetic little sprout all shriveled up and alone on this pointless rock i don't have anything i can use well, good island, everybody. Just a little fucking rock. But presumably that'll be important for something somewhere, somehow, eventually. Debris field. And it is another level two, so in we go. Damn it. Yep. I don't know if this is the right way, but this is the way I've decided to go. And I'm being rewarded with a save point, so clearly there must be something. Death? Not death. One of these times, I'm really gonna end up getting punished for testing these ledges by just jumping off of them. But conversely, eventually I will also be rewarded for jumping off those ledges at some point. Well, I've shot myself out of a magic cannon. And now I'm gonna keep doing it. Because until it goes wrong, this can't possibly be a bad idea. Whoop. I don't think that counts as the cannoning going wrong. We... Okay, that's neat. The way that that combined was kind of cool. Really? You just won't reach out and grab that rope on your own, eh, Vernal? Okay. And it ate my jump. We, we, ah! Good news, we live. Bad news, we're back at the beginning of this path. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to it. Some of these cannons seem completely unnecessary though. Ow, ow. I have a concussion now. Ow, ow. Just imagine slamming your face into these walls just starts depleting memory points after a bit. Just from the layers upon layers of concussions Vernal starts getting. That just felt like bullying. But, you know. They, they are one step above practice dummies, so I gotta practice my stuff on something. This is just gonna put me... I don't know, it, it did more than put me back at the beginning, at least. It put me through the floor at the beginning. Okay, so that mostly worked out. Okay, I can just press down to drop off of those. Good to know. Oh, and a hop, and a hip, hip, hop, and a hip. Whoop, hip, hop, ha. Okay, everything is fine. Ah, it's a zipline launcher. Kind of neat. Kind of makes you wonder, though, why the, the zipline wasn't just already launched. 
I guess it's just for show, really, at that point. This place is kind of neat, though. A lot of kind of fancy platforming to it, and I'm kind of down for that. This is where we went just a minute ago, I think. Oh, actually, no, that's why the zip line needed to be launched, is the fact that otherwise you would just do what I was just doing a moment ago, like this, and just climb back up and completely avoid the entire section we just did. Because some crazy person like me would be out there and just backwards climb up the zip line just to see what's up there. It's anti-weirdo measures. Set, spoken as a weirdo. Oh, this door is a door. Map? That's the map. Okay. So we covered a good amount of ground already. Like, this whole section over here is done. And fitting for a debris field, this place seems to be composed of a bunch of individual sections. Crazy concept, I know, a debris field being composed of a bunch of individual parts. It's almost like it shouldn't be one full s segment or anything. What's in the box? Money. Just dusty old books. Hate that. Hate that as an idea. Platforms that break out from under you being in this game. Means I'm gonna fall off of something like that at some point. Now, the map indicates that there is an area underneath. Yeah, this is where we came in from. We just happen to go to the right instead of the left. But if we go off of this area and down further, there's another thing. Yeah, this way. It's a save point and a door. Okay. Really? That seems like exactly the kind of platform my ground slam's supposed to break, but we'll we'll roll back to that idea in a second. Where the hell am I now? Yeah. Oh, we're back at that piece of wood that we'd looked at at the beginning. Okay. I am confused. You tell me things. Oh my, this island looks like a cluster of smaller islands that once impacted one another. Truly and fascinating. Wait, these islands move? When they first rose, I imagine they moved around quite a bit. But now they seem to have settled down in a sort of chain of debris. It should be safe to explore if you wish. Just be careful not to slip. Looks like there's a lot of directions I could go in. Eh. Well, we've kind of gone in a bunch of directions. Ends already, which... Until I can break down through the floor there... We can't get into that chamber at the bottom. We've already looked up here, though. We need to be able to get even higher to get to that top chamber. So our only real other option would be this chamber on the right. But I'm going to double check the, the floor down here just to make sure I didn't somehow screw up breaking through the floor. Like maybe I just didn't hit it square enough or something. Is this? Oh, you just dropped through it. That's why. This is why we double-check these things. Hello there. It's been a while since I saw someone new down here. Hope you're not lost. I'm looking for information. Do you know anything about Asphodel? I don't think so. Is that some kind of fish? What? No, it's a person. Why would it be a fish? Well, this is a fishing hole, as you can see. I've got uh, this whole setup and everything. It sounds boring. Well, it used to be, but recently I made a game out of it. It's really fun now. Do you want to try it out? 
Not really, I just said I was looking for someone. Ah, oh, that's alright, I guess. I suppose someone of your stature would have a harder time reaching the nets, too. My what? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. It's just that these fish are bigger than the ones on the surface. It might be a bit much for so for you to handle by yourself. Please, I can handle some dumb fish. Easy. You can also get baited real easy. Oh, wow, you look determined. Well, if you score enough points, I've got a trinket I've been saving that you can have as a prize. I feel like we've been suckered. But how we do at the same time... Ow. Okay, I'm on... Oh! I think I understand the bit here. Okay. Do you want to play my fishing game? I could always use some help. Okay, so uh, there's three different fish in this pond, and they all act different. The blue ones will come at you low and fast, so you need to block them before they hit you. The next kind is um, orange ones. They're more easy going, but they don't stop for anything. So you need to hit them real hard to knock them off their course. The last ones are the pink funny looking ones. They're a bit odd though. They float out around where it's hard to reach them. So you'll want to throw something to make them fall down. I usually use a rock, but your sword looks like it would work too. If you can get 75 kilos of fish within the time limit, I'll let you have that trait and can I mention as thanks. Having help down here really is rare. <laughs> okay, so I gotta block the blue fish Knock around the orange fish. Yeah, I gotta charge attack the orange fish. You know, it almost feels like the that pink fish sort of scored itself there. Yeah, I've gotta knock the pink fish down with my pulse throw. But it doesn't look like, like they react to anything other than exactly what you were told to use on them. Ah. This is pretty tough, actually. Time's up. Let's see how you did. Let's see. It looks like you managed to get 31 kilogram that time. Oh, that's not much at all. Sorry. If you'd like to try again, you can, though. You know, this is just a really easy way for you to get all of your fishing done without doing any work, isn't it? that That's the whole bit here. One sec. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe without fumbling the buttons this time. I can block while holding a charge. That's gonna be the problem though, is getting timing right for blocking these fucking blue bastards while also keeping an eye on everything else. And apparently I just can't land a charge attack to save my life suddenly. The whole back of that orange fish doesn't seem to be a hitbox either, which is kind of upsetting. I wish I could take credit for her hitting that pink fish, but that was purely accidental. I feel like time went faster that time. I got one kilogram more. <laughs> Biggest problem is getting distracted by these stupid blue fish. And the fact that they won't bounce in cleanly does not help. Like, there's a set pattern to how these show up. So if I can get a handle on that, that will also help immensely. But I keep screwing up constantly, which is, conversely, not helping. We're gonna run out of time here in a second. I 
think I'm doing better this time? Question mark? Yeah, that was the last fish. Yeah, that was definitely better. 50 this time. I think if I hadn't gotten knocked over by that set of three blues, we probably would have had it that time. This is certainly a unique way to fish. I can't believe I caught that one. This is actually pretty good practice for the, the flow state for this game in some ways. Nice, deflected both the blues. Yeah, they're actually worth a decent bit of weight, even though they look so small. Oh, I kicked that orange way over. That might have fucked me, actually. Yep. I think we did slightly better, but still not quite. I don't have to get all of them. I just have to get most of them. I really should just sit here holding a charge. How the hell am I missing that orange fish so much? Like, I feel like half the time I should land those hits and they just don't land like that. I went right through him. There's probably just a better charge I should be using than the move I'm... Oh my god! Like, I'm actually getting annoyed, not at the game, but at the fact that I keep fucking some of those very simple things up. It's not even complicated. I just whiff it completely and make an embarrassment of myself, and that's where I'm getting annoyed. I'm pretty confident this, this isn't supposed to be this difficult. Oh god, some of those bad bounces it, are getting on my nerves too. Like this pink fucker over here that just decides to never go back in. Oh, sure, the one right next to me didn't count, but the one over there? Sure, we, we'll give you that one. Why not? <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, I went from getting the charge attack ones okay to just like, nope, can't fucking land a charge to save your life now. Uh, that's closer. Yeah, five kilos short. If I hadn't missed some of those blues again, we would have had that. I, I'm being stubborn and I know it, but I'm getting mad about this at this point, so we're going to be here for a bit. It doesn't help that this whole thing is really particular. Okay, that counted. Okay, sure. Oh my god. Okay, that one counts. Like, sometimes the fact I'm just getting caught juggling a fish around, trying desperately to get it to go where it's supposed to, is what's gonna kill my score the most for this. I tracked the wrong fish, I think, again. So I'm watching the orange one trying to get him. <sighs> but this is good practice for the actual way the game works, and that's the fucked up thing to a degree. <laughs> this is teaching me to track multiple things at once instead of tunnel visioning like I'm very bad about doing. Now, if these fish would actually go in the fucking nets, 
That would make me so much happier. Well, I wasted that entire wave again. Seventy-two. Fuck me. I just need three more kilos. <sighs> there we go. That's pretty good. Still not bad. That's still not bad. I started the charge to deal with the other one, and this fucker won't go in the goddamn net! <laughs> we got it this time, but fuck that fish in particular. <laughs> Wow, you got a lot. Even better than my high score. I promised you a prize too, right? There it is. I found it in the net one day. I don't have a use for it. Maybe you will. Okay. That's not bad. Wasn't worth the frustration I just went through. You want to play my fishing game? I could always use some help. You don't have any more prizes for me, so fuck yourself. Go jump in your own net. some regrets about bothering to do that considering all that got me was a mana extension when I'm not even using my magic that much but you know we got a thing at least so that's good yeah go up this way to get up there I'm going to assume these waterfalls will somehow harm me. Considering they just happen to be right in my path. Okay, the edges of these ropes are hazardous. Because the edges don't exist as much as you might think they do. And that might sound like a very strange sentence. But basically, the very edge of those ropes, you don't actually get to hold on to and jump. And that's the problem. But it's like the edge, like, singular pixel. So it's not really a major issue, but it can be a problem. I can't seem to get the counter anymore for some reason. Even though I blocked that attack, it didn't do the whole counter break thing. Well, that didn't really work out the way I wanted to, but it worked out, at least. Yep, see, the waterfalls knock you off the rope. Doesn't directly harm me, but it inconveniences me greatly. I... <sighs> at least the water doesn't hurt me either, I guess. So I've got that going for... Hey. We're gonna be here for a bit because of this, aren't we? All because I'm trying to move quickly. I'm going to assume that's going to hurt me down there. Just, just going to go out on a limb and assume that. Oh, this is how this is going to be now, huh? Okay. Okay. That, that's how we're playing this today. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> There's 
better be something at the end of this tunnel. I swear. It's another fishing game at the end of this. I might be upset. <laughs> now I see. Vernal, if you could grab things ever, that'd be great. Have you ever considered not being bad at your job? And not being useless? These are two things I would really love for you to be doing right now. Wait, is there anything down here or is this just a place to fall? This is just a place to fall. Love that for me. Whee! Anything here? No. What about down here? All likely candidates for things to have been hidden in, and all it is is a waste of my time. Not even this one? Wow. The disappointment is immeasurable. Swift slice. What does that do? Oh, it probably would have helped if I actually turned on air block, huh? Your dash harms opponents. Might use that more. Might use that more with that. That might, in fact, actually be helpful. Oh, wow, you drop out of the air pretty harshly when you air block, too. That's going to be worth keeping in mind. Listen here, you. Trying to look at the map. So it seems like nothing important was kept here... Unless it's up there where we can't get to. So we'll need to keep this area in mind. But we don't need to be here anymore at the moment. But hey, we at least got stuff out of here. And I'll answer you in a second. Mark that island. This way I, I know to come back there. You keep talking about this unreality stuff. What is that? There is a terrifyingly diverse set of answers to that question, I'm afraid. Just give me the basics, then. The basics? Yes, well... Unreality is essentially the space outside of our, our own reality. Unlike this plane, where the world is fully formed and complete, unreality is the opposite, unfinished and raw. In my research, we discovered several different ways to traverse it, but it required a monumental amount of energy. Nothing like what we've seen recently, creating portals so easily. And so it's like another world? That is exactly what I said, yes. Please do keep up. More accurately, it's the absence of a world. Although, uh, honestly, I'm not even sure if my knowledge is still up to date. Okay, so we can't traverse the tower that we know of. So I think we might have to step it up a notch and go to one of the threes. Over on the left is the flower and the mine. This is the Arboretum, which I think is where we went in the demo, actually. Or the Arboretum sounds familiar. Shaded Cavern, we couldn't really seem to do too much with. Sure, you know what? We'll do the Arboretum next. This place was once a beautiful Arboretum, open to the public, back before the islands rose 20-some-odd years ago. After that, it was repurposed for unreality research. The plants seemed to be reacting strangely. We were around back then, Bruno, when the islands rose. Don't know, maybe I was like two? Well, at any rate, there could be some clues here as to Asphodel's whereabouts, seeing as he was heavily involved in the research. Yeah, this is probably the next, like, important area to go to. What's this? What's all this then?
Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Anyway, just gonna keep on climbing across everything here. Like, presumably I'm supposed to go through the front door. But why would I do that when I have this perfectly good side door to go through? messing with me about the poise system, by the way, is the fact that there are multiple enemies with the same models, but varying amounts of poise. It's very easy to get caught out by that, because I, I'll look at the model at a glance and go, okay, he probably has, like, one poise, because many ones that I fought like that only had one. And then it's a version of it that has two, even though it's the exact same model. Like these birds. They have two this time. And they've already shown that they have recolors of things in this game. So it's a little weird and easy to lose track of at times as far as that goes. Which, it's not a major issue. But it's contributed to me getting caught out sometimes by the, that system. Because it really depends on how you, you track the information. Oh, great, another one of these stupid bucket heads. Yeah, someone else after the treasure, I presume? Well, you're too late. The treasure's mine. Treasure? My overwhelming strength, courage, and intellect will surely, surely guide me through this treasure's place. It's much too dangerous for someone like you. Excuse me? I meant no offense, miss. But it's best if you get on your ship and leave before you get hurt. How about you leave, or I'll make you leave? Whoa, hey, I don't want any trouble. But I was here first. It's only fair that I get the treasure. I'm not here for treasure, you idiot. I'm looking for someone. Does the name Asphodel ring any bells? Can't say it does, sorry to say, but if you're not here for the treasure, I suppose I'll be on my way. And I can't disagree with them about the logic of, I was here first. All those finds lead to this thing. Pretty sure if I break that, this whole bridge falls, and I don't really want that yet. You know what? Maybe I do. Now that I've touched a save point... Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that. Never mind. Some kind of weed killer or something. Whee! Don't need that mechanic anyway. Bye! Well, that was unfortunate for him, wasn't it? So if I'm not careful, it's gonna be unfortunate for me, too. If I'm remembering from the demo properly, we definitely want to be here because I do think I get another memory that will help a lot here. All those vines lead to this thing. Yeah, we established that already. Yeah, all of that's going to be important in a bit. Like, some of this is coming back to me. Like, chasing after her, that idiot treasure-hunting knight definitely was a thing we did during the, the bit of the demo I did. I don't think we did everything that was in the demo, either. I think there was only, like, two or three islands available in the demo, the Arboretum being one of them. But I think we got part of the way through this one and 
then the time elapsed enough that I'm like, eh, we're good. Yeah, because now we have the timer with the purple switches. Brain, why did you think that was going to work? When you know that that's exactly how you do that? <laughs> the answer might surprise you in that sometimes I'm an idiot. <laughs> Crazy concept, I know. I'm going to run out of time. Wait, what was... Oh, right, to get up here. Ugh, this stuff smells disgusting. Got herbicide. Time to kill us a plant. Die. Guess this gross stuff should kill it, right? Oof. You know, you probably shouldn't be using unknown herbicides on unknown plants, but, you know. It's not our lab. Worst thing that happens, we just get off this island before everything goes to hell in a handbasket. And leave somebody else to deal with the problems. Now, do we have enough to pour on this too? Gotcha. Hey there, voila. How it goes. Hopefully you're settling in quite nicely still. Still more enemies, huh? Okay. Get juggled. Poor Keeper's a good time. I think you'll enjoy it. It'll it'll probably take you a minute or two to get to an enjoyable point with it, but once you once you get rolling, you'll, you'll have a good time. Dancing through all of these. There we go, that worked out better than expected. Keep him up there so he's not in my way. And there we go. You know, that time spent dealing with those fish did at least help me get a handle on moving a little bit better. I say as I fall off a cliff immediately. Sometimes. Really? Really just gonna be like a pixel short of that jump, huh? Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's always that one pixel that wants to be disagreeable. It's just those steel books. Hey. It's you shoot at me. Knock it off. I didn't really want to fall down here yet, but there's an ability here, so it'll work itself out. You got the air step major memory. Press X while in, in the air and facing a wall to gain extra height. You can also use this ability to hop from enemies, lanterns, and more. But now we have wall jumping. Oh. 
which as you might imagine gonna be huge this will get us into basically everywhere we tried to get into earlier and couldn't and we got a bonus learned memory shockwave Release a shockwave when landing on the ground with sheer descent. Okay. Sure, why not? It's not like I got anything else to take up that space right now anyway. Worst case, I get rid of it later. Yeah, we can bounce off these lanterns now. Complete with somehow managing to perch on top of them. Which is just impressive, all things considered. Uh, so we can go back over here and go up and right further. also over here except we can't yet because there's a plant in the way the origin point of the plant is over here though. get out of here plant die fuck you nature especially weird weird created nature that isn't actually nature at all but shh, it's okay If anybody thinks I know where I'm going, the answer is, on some level, possibly, is this does seem familiar, or from the demo still. But that doesn't mean I actively know what I'm doing. button for blocking that. Okay, good. He did have the right amount of health left to die from that. I wasn't sure if that was gonna end in him having like a pixel of health left to upset me or not. Missed. Like that. <laughs> the one pixel. Ah, uh, it's fine. Plant life. Okay, can't go any further this way, so we fought all those dudes for nothing. Oh, speaking of upsetting, okay. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to reach that. And more of you weird, weird charging guys. Okay, that's fine. I can counter them immediately by slamming that attack into them and then they have too much poise and then it fails again and again and yet I don't learn <laughs> You only get one jump off the wall, I think. 
And if there is anything up there, which doesn't appear to be, we ain't getting up there right now. You again? You're still here? I'm, I'm impressed you weren't scared off by those monsters. Although I did thin their numbers quite a bit for you. I thought you weren't interested in the treasure. Oh, I get it. You're just following me so that you can sneakily grab it for yourself. A clever plan, but I've seen through it. Oh my god, shut up. No matter, I'll certainly arrive at the treasure before you anyway. Sure thing, buddy. You tell yourself what you wish to believe and we'll just all move on. Okay, we got the Arboretum key, which you would think that that treasure hunter would have grabbed the key, considering. Also, if they weren't running off this way, they didn't grab the key. And there's a cliff here. Where'd they go? You know what? They might have been dumb enough to fall off that cliff. And you know what? More power to them. <laughs> Best case, they fell off there and are just a pile of metal on the floor somewhere. Worst case, we'll have to deal with them later. So I will miss making fun of them. I wanted that door up there. It turns out... Should have gotten my hit off first, but it's fine. Oh, you guys have swords now, huh? Good for you. Bad for me, though. How about you just put those down? Those are too big for you anyway. Okay, that's neat, the fact that they actually have to go get their swords back. That's pretty good. What's this? Earn spell Piercing Ray. Pierces through enemies with a beam of light. Bounces off terrain. That does sound useful. Choo! It immediately became less useful when it fires off at a 45 degree angle. But it bounces off terrain, so it might work itself out. We'll find out. Uh, we already went all the way in there, so there's no point in going back this way, I don't think. <laughs> true, true. You know, this place almost feels like it's designed for before you get dashed, but you get dashed before you even leave the starting stage. So it's kind of weird. We wait. Oh right, yeah, we go all the way back through there, then we come back up and around. Okay. I was about to say, how exactly am I supposed to get back across? But it's the the one pixel jump we didn't make over here before. We can now use our wall jump to get up there. Yeah, this stupid jump right here. Which even if we had made it up there, we weren't gonna be getting past all of these anyway. Jumping off of these is actually a little weirder than it might look, though. His Vernal kind of jumps off at a weird arc instead of necessarily directly. Can't read. Well, 
If I can't read it, that mean, means it can't stop me. I wonder if that means that Vernal straight up can't read or just can't read that sign. It really hasn't been addressed till now, so it's hard to say. Be a little awkward if Vernal can't read, but also not shocking. Casually juggle you to get some health back. I appreciate that these these water pipes actually throw the enemies off. Like, it'll actually break their poise if they get hit by a big jet of water. As it should, really, because getting hit with that much water would really hammer you. Please. Well, it was supposed to be up better than that, but sure, I'll just climb, I guess. Sometimes you just got to do it yourself. There we go. Now we're back at the ship. Back already? There's a knight from the church here going on about some kind of treasure. I know. I saw it on the telecom. Maybe it's worth following them to see what this treasure nonsense is all about. That's what I was going to do before you interrupted me. which presumably the treasure then has to be up in this upper left corner because there's nowhere else to go. Which admittedly makes it kind of weird where they went, but eh, it's fine. Somehow, some ways they'll have found their way over there. Mostly just to annoy me. Whee! But you know. We, we have a great annoyance solving tool in our hands. It's got a sharp edge on it, too. Yeah, that up there is where we want to be. But I guess I got to go the long way around to get to it. Which awkwardly places us back over where we just were. <sighs> I see what I need to do now and I'm upset. So I could have just done that in the first place. Because we were over here before. And what we need to do is just keep going from here. Oh yeah, we can also open this door now. Rude. So very weird seeing one of these guys outside of those locked in arenas. Very unfortunate for him to have run into me, though. I'm more out of the way. Just casually melt that plant out of existence. Oh, you know, he probably would have been useful, actually. I could have juggled him up, jumped off of him, then jumped off the wall, I think. Oh, well. Let's see if there's a path on the other side. The answer? No. No, there is not. Let's see if he respawns. <laughs> yeah, his only mistake was existing in the same place and time as me. And, uh, well, he had no control over that. And I'm not getting up there right now, it seems, so... It is what it is. Oh, I see. Very 
Bring the two halves together. And that does something. What it does, not entirely sure. I do know I shouldn't have done that yet. Because now I think I can't get that chest. Which is just going to have money in it anyway. But I can never have too much money. So to say I can't get it is an overstatement. I could find a way. I just don't know if I could be bothered. Also, can I reseparate these? Nope, I sure can't. Okay. Well, never mind. one different. Oh, those two locked together just fine. Ah, you're the one making all the weird noises. And now you aren't. Lock that in. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that order doesn't matter for these. Otherwise, it would have refused by now. There we go. Easy puzzle. Dang it. <laughs> All that just to fall once into a spike and be sad. Real quiet out here. It's kind of awkward that way. It's both peaceful and awkward simultaneously. Oh, it's you again. Looks like despite your best efforts to thwart, thwart me, I've reached the treasure first. Now I can finally get away from that damn church, away from those stupid islands. Um, about that. Looks like those islands have their hold on you now, huh? Well, that seems unfortunate for you. Well, that didn't work according to plan. I saw an opportunity to jump up there and hit them, so I'm like, oh, this seems like a great idea. And then wham, knocked right out of the air immediately. Got five boys, which is worth watching out for. Yeah, they're definitely not in full control of what's happening here either. Which that much should be fairly apparent. By the fact that they did not willingly accept those vines into their life. I need some of that health. There we go. Some more health. Quit hiding behind in those vines in particular. Coward out. I for some reason thought they weren't gonna turn on that last swing. Oh well, this is different. Okay. Thanks for the health, and you took it away immediately. Yeah. Because the only question mark was whether you were going to be settled in in time. And from the sound of things, you're in good shape, so yeah. There's no reason for us not to. And I have not heard any confirmation from anybody that they will not be available for it, so. Barring anything suddenly happening, that is still part of the plan.
Now that I've got a bit more of an idea of the pattern for this fight, we should be fine this time. Because I, I won't throw myself straight into damage immediately this time. Right. Which would be ideal. And hopefully you'll manage to make that all work in a way that is good for you. for with the sword now. I was not expecting them to just keep going ham over and over again, otherwise I would have been a bit more careful. I pressed the, the block button, but it was off timing. Another slightly mistimed block. Gotcha. There we go. Got metal frame. Hello. I've seen what happened through the telecom. Very interesting. Sure, it's not like we're any closer to Asphodel. That is fantastic. If you actually can manage to make that work, that would be incredible for you, yeah. Fingers crossed for you. Not directly, but I'd like to study that artifact you found. It could prove useful. There you go. Seems useless to me, but fine. Of course. For now, however, let us take our search elsewhere. At least we got something. We now have that jump that'll let us go a lot more places. Specifically, we could get in here where we couldn't get to before, but it's probably in my better interest to follow up places we have already been and clean up first. Yeah, the abandoned lab. Did the abandoned lab have anywhere? Also, what do you want? What was up with that woman? Hmm, you mean the one in the red dress? Astrolim area, yeah, that's what Asphodel called her anyway. I don't know. I didn't recognize her, not that I would remember her even if I had met her before. Why do you ask? Our fight was cut short and I'm still pissed about it. Do you ever think that maybe you enjoy fighting a little too much? What do you mean? You know what? Never mind. Yeah, probably best not to, to chase that line of thought too much. She will just get upset. And then you'll have to fight her too. I mean, I could attack the ship. That doesn't seem like a good idea, but I could. I seem to have misplaced the place I was trying to go. Yeah, you would think logically that if they... If they've marked you unfit to work, then realistically, then you should be by default viable for disability, considering the two kind of go hand in hand, logically. But how often do does logic kick in is the issue there. But still, hopefully it works out. Why was I not on those ledges? Up, oh, please. There we go. Not that I really want to be here, judging from these ledges, but, you know. Do what you gotta do and all that. Yeah, okay. It's the usual... It's compartmentalized where it doesn't need to be, but... Because it's compartmentalized, it has to be dealt with as such.
out of pulse again. Uh, he stayed down for a while off that laser shot. Oh, new enemy. Which still seems logically incredibly weird, but welcome to our government's work. <laughs> That almost went badly, but we made it. Everything's fine. I should have stopped off at town and bought some more techniques. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, I guess they want me to do that? Yeah, that is the way. Okay. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Okay. More fighting, huh? Okay. Business as usual. There's a spell in it for me, at least. Oh, you turned around better than I thought you would. Well played, sir. Oh. Now, could you stop hitting me? That would be very kind of you. Well, that didn't work according to plan in the slightest. I keep timing every single move I make in this fight just wrong. Give me health, please. Thank you. Do it again. Because I'm betting it's... No? I really thought there was going to be another wave after that. Oh, you... Gotta be kidding me. <sighs> gonna be that way, huh? Okay. The worst part is, I saw the gap, and my brain went, nah, just step forward and jump, it'll be okay. Didn't make the jump part happen, so now we gotta go climb the whole thing again. Hopefully we don't have to fight the, those two big guys again. Brain. Do I need to have a conversation between you and my hands so you reconcile and actually work together again? I really could use the two of you to be on the same page. You did so well on your way up the tower. I just need one more correct jump, and then you can go back to being stupid. Look at that. We moved through all that smoothly, and then I just botched this basic jump here and fell back to the beginning. Uh, one would almost think I did that for the bit, but unfortunately, no, I didn't. Now we got a full set of spells. Okay, we are using all of our memories. But that seems to be this place cleared out, then. That was the only other thing that we couldn't reach. Each that I know of. There might be like a hidden thing somewhere, somehow. But to my knowledge, we've gotten everything out of here. So I can remove the marker on this place and we can leave. Oh, you, you actually can put a lot of different markers down. Okay, I should have checked that sooner. Cherville, you know about a place called Dinehurst? Actually, I believe that was the college that Asphodel and I attended. How did you come by that name? There was somebody in the market that told me. They said my coat reminded them of the robes that I were worn there. Hmm, now that you mention it, I do recall wearing similar clothes. I believe different disciplines at the college would wear colors that suited their fields. High sciences wore coats that were red. And green would have been the color for botany. Does that mean my mom went in there too? Did you ever meet her? I can't say I ever set foot in the Arboretum, no. I was much too engrossed in my own studies. Asphodel was much more sociable than I, however, perhaps that is where they met. Hmm. 
It's certainly possible. Of course, if Asphodel's as much of a manipulator as he seems to be for everybody else, Lord knows what he did it in that line of thought, too. What I'm saying is we seem to be getting more reasons to kill him rather than less. Okay. Is that the abandoned lab? There's town. I'll go here first and buy a few things, and then we'll figure out where I'm going from there. Let's get the grounded up charge. Is this is one of the things I've been running into is the fact that I didn't have an up attack that made sense to me yeah there we go that's much more of an actual up attack because I kept trying to do an up charge the whole time and you don't have one <laughs> so I kept getting myself into all kinds of bother for that now sense of direction I can only get one of these. We have more problems with projectiles, so I think I'll take reflection first and then come back for deflection. I don't have enough points for all of these, but I don't use the drop enough, so we will get rid of that and grab these two. There we go. Perfect amount to have everything except Shockwave. Ah, sense of direction gives us a mini map that we're not on, but you know what? That's okay. If you got questions about any item you're carrying, show me and I'll, I'll try to help explain it. Let's see if he understands anything about some of these these things. Looks like you've got some herbicide. This stuff is deadly to plants, but they also used it to prevent the mushrooms from spreading after the rising. But it was so aggressive that they stopped using it, a fear that it would make the islands unsuitable as farmland. Take care when using it. I'm afraid I can't make head or tails of this. Still completely useless. Basically, anything directly plot-related seems to mean nothing to our bird friend there. Which makes... Unfortunately, nothing but sense, but I don't have to be happy about it. He's getting some insight as to where or what I would need to be doing using any of those. Would be grand, but of course that's not how that's going to work. With all of our money spent for the most part, let's go ahead and get back on our way. Because I don't think I have anything that'll get us through the, the door they're guarding over there still. Do I think there's anything in the fungal mines that I needed increased jump for? Mm, not really. None of this stands out as needing that, so we don't need to be here, I don't think. Like, obviously my priority port of call would be the tower we couldn't get into over there. Which is ironic that the tower that fell over is the one we can't climb. Vernal, was it? How are things? What are you doing? Oh, just talking, I suppose. This ship doesn't seem to need much manual operation besides destination input, so we're free to talk in the meantime. Can we not? Oh, have I offended you? My apologies, I... No, you're... you're fine. I'm just not good at talking with people. I doubt most would still consider me people at this point. Right... So you're like a machine, then? Um, sort of. I still can't recall the details, but I suppose robot is a more accurate term. It certainly feels less derogatory than shell. Wait, how do you eat? Interesting. I haven't actually thought about that. How have you not thought about it? 
I haven't been hungry. Well, fun fact, if you're in a robotic body, you probably don't need to eat. Just a thought there. <laughs> you just need power. <laughs> uh, but you know, still coming to terms with the whole not being organic anymore thing. Understandable, really. Okay. The layout of this place is starting to make more sense now. Yeah, potentially. If if you even have a faculty by which to consume things, it doesn't even look like he had a mouth. So it'd be kind of complicated to do it at all. Unsurprisingly, homing spell, pretty good. There we go, those two are taken care of. Yep, I knew it. I knew dropping down one of those was going to be a mistake. I just didn't know which one. That's why I was taking it slow. You know, had I thought that through and paid attention to where I'd landed before, I might have understood that I needed to dash there. Hmm. Really? So that's just completely pointless down there, huh? Okay. But, there's this. I got a thing. Pulse control. Make the, make the pulse projectile spin in place or spin around you for a small pulse cost. Huh. Okay. That actually could be really useful as soon as I get another memory point. Because that's what allows me to do those healing attacks. Instead of just chucking it out in a direction and hoping for the best, I could actually manipulate it a little bit to make it a little easier to land on a target. That is not where I meant to land, and you know it, game. You are, of course, going to ignore that because it is to your benefit to ignore that, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with it. This is not to my benefit to agree with it. Yep, I had a feeling it was another flat area, so it's like, well, I'm going to have to fight more dudes here. God, his delay on that attack is mean. enraged now so he's stronger I had to take dodging him a little more seriously at that point or I was going to die congratulations you played yourself not yet but soon also hello swarm how you doing buddy second round against one of those guys went a lot better. Turns out having two of them to knock against each other works out a lot better than having to fight one of them. 
mana piece. Fire myself through a cannon. Ooh. Was it caught before anything major went wrong, at least? That could definitely be a serious problem. Okay, so that just launched me across the entire bottom of this place back to where I started. Does that mean that this was... There's no way this that was the entire place, though, because we don't have the map. Then again, we didn't get a map of the shady area we were in, too. And that was another real small place. You know, for now, I'm going to operate on the other assumption that we're done here. Okay. Hopefully nothing was damaged during the bouncing. But it's better than it having, like, fully disconnected or anything serious. It does beg the question if there was anything else they missed. Murder went through there. We just went here, which this place also looks very small island wise, so I'm betting that it was just that simple. Okay. Are you religious at all, Vernal? I, uh, not really. I don't know. I suppose you don't agree with the church's rhetoric, then. Pfft, no. I don't even know what they do. As far as I'm concerned, they're just armored jerks. In my experience, they're more of a cult, a bunch of low-life thieves taking up arms for the sake of controlling others. So like a lot of churches. Slow down there, rebel. Apologies, I suppose I hit one of my own sore spots. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know what your sore spots are when you don't remember anything, huh? Then you just, ended up, just end up randomly hitting them sometimes. Well, let's do the Tower of Battle now. See how this plays out. We're running out of other places to go. What's all this crap about? It seems like some sort of gladiatorial arena. How barbaric. What about that other stuff at the bottom? What does it all say? It says... Hold on, can you not read? No, I can't. It's not like it's been a big deal. What's your problem? So Vernal can't read. That We've now proven that. Well, that complicates a lot of things, but it's fine. We have a robot to read for us. Well, I just... Didn't you attend school as a child? Welcome. Are you two here to compete? Compete? Yes, here, in the arena. There's prizes, and if you do well enough in the qualifiers, you can earn a match with the reigning champion. Sounds like a waste of time. The spectacular Saffron. Well, I don't know if this is... Huh? I'm entering right now. Fantastic. Come in whenever you're ready. What's gotten into you? Saffron, I know him. We used to train together as kids. Until he just left one day. I see. You want to finally speak with him again? Yeah, I was about to say, speak with violence, probably. I want to kick his ass. Oh, my. You really should understand how Vernal operates by now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. As soon as I heard the word prizes, I'm like, yep, I'm in. I'm gonna go beat people up, get paid. How does this whole shtick here work? Do I just, I guess I just go through the open doors? Yep, we go through the open doors and get in fights. Okay. <laughs> Kind of a sweet setup they got going there for just flying around going from place to place. I used to watch the various fights. Oh, I'm sure my prize is going to be death at least once. At the rate this game has been going, I'm going to die a miserable death at some point in this whole exchange. I'm going to make one wrong move and eat shit for it. But meanwhile, I'm going to try to make as much money as I can.
need to remember I can use them as platforms now, too. Nope, you ain't outrunning those. <laughs> Myself there, that was just bad planning. I was expecting more results out of that laser. Oh well. Speaking of short sighted moves, that guy just threw his sword and didn't think about the fact that he was gonna have to get it back. Been there, really. I commit to a charge attack, one of those flames is right there every time. Miss me. No, you don't. No sword for you. You may call it dishonorable, but no. <laughs> Cheville's che cheering for us in the back there, too. I just realized whenever we're doing something good, he starts cheering. That's actually a great touch, I approve. He's the only one cheering for us, but he's also the only one who knows us, so it's kind of fair. God, I keep thinking I can outrange that and not having enough room in this arena for that idea. flag from <laughs> I need we got a spell for winning the first round if there's prizes for every round I'm down for doing this then I was worried I was gonna have to win like all of it to get a prize ow Thought you were gonna fool me by falling off of there, huh? I ain't that stupid. I'm kind of stupid, but not that stupid. swung more than I thought he was going to. I counted wrong. Okay. We're still in this. We're fine. Oh, get away from him before he explodes. If we can just keep these two from doing much, we'll be in great shape for this fight. Crazy concept, I know. Make sure your enemies don't attack you and then you do well? Wild. But it's a proven and working concept, I assure you. Much like throwing enemies at each other works out in your favor. Exactly. It just works. with that <laughs> oh boy this is different i don't know what to do with this guy not yet oh he's gonna do a big thing no bad that sweep is at just the right speed to be a problem 
No, 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 no. Whatever, whatever this cage shit is, no. Oh, it's gonna go off before I can kill him, probably. Or maybe I can kill him quick enough. Never mind. We're fine. Woo! That was very nearly bad, though. I don't know what that was or what it was gonna do, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't good for me. Mana Vengeance. Okay. What does that do? Recover mana after being stunned. Meh. I do spam my spells a bit, but not after being hit as much. I should have went for the block instead of trying to dodge that. You'd think I would have learned after all the other times this didn't work out in my favor. Going back and forth between doing it correctly and immediately getting my head bashed. I misunderstood what I was fighting there. I just saw a pile of enemies and didn't understand what any of them were <laughs> in any actual capacity. I only processed it was a big guy after the fist was already about to impact my face. Like, it doesn't take much to counter the big guys. I just need to pay attention and not be in the middle of three other animations when the attack comes out. Unfortunately, I am entirely too much of a rusher to catch those in time half the time. And then there's, you know, getting caught on the backswing like that that can happen too. So, you might be wondering why I got hit in the face with that sword. I tried to do something funny, and it didn't work. What I was trying to do was position such that I could hit his sword out of the air and hit his friend in the face with it, and, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> As it turns out, I don't think I can hit those. Or if I can, I needed to time it a lot better than I did. Oh, well, this guy's a little spooky, isn't he? as he looked, though. We are getting a bigger audience as we go. As we prove we can do the thing. How do I... There we go. Ooh, health extension. Nice. That's definitely worth the fighting we've been doing. Ooh. Folks, this is the moment you've been waiting for. It's time for the challenger to take on our current reigning champion, the Relentless Rook. What? Where's Saffron? Who the hell's this? I feel like we've been robbed. We were promised a particular opponent, and that's not what we're getting. We've got this, this one over here with a stick. Oh, okay, you have some magic, too. Okay. Don't get me wrong. As someone who enjoys a good quarterstaff, I have respect for the power of those. Yeah, that's what I figured. Your attacks are going to originate from that and stop at that. Yeah, no, it doesn't actually stop at the staff. I probably don't want you doing whatever it is you're doing here, complete with the awful noise you're making. How about you don't do that? Whatever it is that is, stop it. <laughs> so 
so far they're just kind of getting bullied and i don't know if i'm just doing well or if this fight's actually like a fake out and the first half of this is gonna be easy and then i get destroyed later So now that I'm thinking about it too much, now I'm starting to get hit more. Because I've thrown off the tempo I had going that was working. And now I'm just getting trapped constantly. Stop that. <laughs> Making that awful sound effect. You lose. First try. You lied to me. That wasn't Saffron. Where is he? To tell you the truth, I don't know. He left without warning as quickly as he showed up. We had to find a replacement pretty quickly. Of course he just... He did leave a note, however. He said it was for you. Yeah, you go read that, because I can't read. It says, Vernal, I'm sorry I never said goodbye. I had my reasons for leaving that day. I'll make it right once we meet again. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, that was fun, and a lot easier than I expected that to be, actually. I kind of expected to get my ass kicked somewhere in there, and I didn't. This being a, a tier three area, I really expected worse out of that. What was that? It sounded like an unreality storm forming. A large one. We didn't hear anything. Oh. Something's odd about this, Vernal. We should have some time before the storm gets bad enough to obstruct travel. I think we should see what's going on. Oh, I think I get it. We went to every island now. And now the, the weird one over here, the shaded mine, has something happening. I noticed you have a unique accent, Vernal. Can I ask what part of Heracard you're from? Uh, the woods, I guess? I don't really know much about the rest of it. Ah, uh, I'd imagine you wouldn't have had the chance being so young. Most of it was destroyed when the islands rose, including the capital. I knew someone from there. Thankfully, I recall that my colleagues were elsewhere at the time. I hate to think what could have happened to them now that it have defected. Oh, right, they're probably dead. Let's hope not. Oh no, it's the... It's the abandoned lab that the storm's at? Huh. Oh, that's odd. I thought it would have been the mine. Oh, in we go. There seems to have been quite a disturbance here. Be on guard, Vernal. The music's definitely changed here. Honestly, for the better. This, this is this is a good, good track here so far. I like this. This is off to a good start. Let, let's hope that it holds holds up the whole way. Oh, right, these exist. That I have to dash through. The layout of this place is, of course, going to be different now. With doors having closed and things changing. What's the church doing here? That seems inherently suspicious. Unless they're investigating the same thing we are, perhaps? That seems like a reasonable explanation for it, which means there's probably more to it than that. It's a good thing I have of that sense of direction minimap thing now. I do not remember the layout of this place, map-wise. 
I'll remember it as I see it, but that's about the best I'll be able to do there. There we go. Just ripped him a new one. So I've gotten better at fighting those, and I'm stronger than I was when we fought those before. Mostly, I can combine more nasty things together to just chew through hit points better. Yeah, there's that door we were blocked off from a moment ago. All this is still opened up as before. The save points seem to still be in the same places, as I think. I don't know if there was a point to doing that, but you know what? I could do it, therefore I did it. Let's make sure there's not anything else. Yeah, because this is where the dummy was that we beat up at the beginning of the game. There's the door we opened. There's more her church knights that need a beating. <laughs> I thought he was gonna jump sooner than he did, so I was planning to land where he used to be. you just stole back yeah now you're gonna do the spinny thing and i'm just not gonna partake this time there we go you sure have many times mostly to the head yeah that's kind of what i figured i was gonna find when i got here hi i'm interrupting your plans so she did show up of course she did you again? Guess we can finish our fight. And Asphodel, you can't hide from me. I will kill you. I understand you're upset with me, Vernal. If you come with Estlomeria, Astl we can... Upset? You could say that. You've left me and my mom to die. I'm gonna find you and return the favor. So just try and stop. I understand. Estlomeria, try not to hurt her. You really are a pathetic creature. Just hand over the pulse edge and save yourself from the embarrassment. We're getting this portal open, even if we have to forge another one from scratch. So that's what you need it for, is opening these. Now, what do you want the portals for? Oh, well, uh, I think we just accidentally opened the portal, didn't we? What? How did you manage to use it? It's almost like we've been using this sword for a little while now funny how that works use what you complete idiot you really haven't realized what that sword is for yet infernal's not the sharpest tool oh well things have gotten weird things have gotten weird i feel like we might be in minus world now everything's a bit backwards oh that's trippy oh boy Huh. Everything's a little extra saturated and a little strange now. Hmm. You know... I kind of dig this place, but I'm kind of concerned about it at the same time. Judging from the effect I've been seeing when these guys show up, though, I wonder if this is their world. Like, this is where they came from. Or if these are shells sent by Asphodel or something. 
Is they have the, the same body type as the shell we're working with. Yeah, they look like they're same made out of the same material. So these are probably like some kind of combat shells. And they did say unreality teleportation was being used, so it also would make sense if that's just the effect of unreality teleportation happening. Oh, that's where we were supposed to run into this freak. Okay. Ow. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Noted. Don't stand in the big explosion next time. It's almost like that was a bad idea or something. Well, that was a mistake. Oh, thank you. Interesting, though, that their colors aren't affected. They look completely normal. Normal as they get, anyway. Whereas we are all kind of weird colored. So I guess it would make enemy differentiation more difficult if they had a color change for being in here. Go ahead and quickly drain some health from him. Oh, those attacks still went through even though he got hit. Okay. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be able to continue that attack if he had been stunned. Turns out their poise breaking doesn't stop existing attacks. Which is something I've still been figuring out. Made it. What's this? Skybreaker. Well, that sounds cool. Hold up during a forward charged attack to perform a sweeping uppercut that knocks opponents into the air. That sounds really neat. But I still don't have space for it. But I've not been... Oh, it's strike projectiles to reflect them, not... Block them. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Swift Slice and take Skybreaker and Pulse Control and see how that plays. I'm not really leveraging my dash doing damage that much. So I'm still not dashing nearly as much as you would expect me to with how I play other games. I don't know how to feel about the spooky... Bloodfire skull things. They, they seem upsetting. They're definitely projectiles as well, because the fireball you just saw me send off a couple times was the result of me hitting them. The door's not active. Oh, I see. Okay, see, these guys are all jacked up colors now. Oh, that's why they're different types. They have the explosion thing that the, the green version of the walkers do. Good to know. There we go. I didn't hear it click the first time, so I wanted to make sure it was going to stay there. Okay, we got laser dudes this time. Okay, just the two of them. Not too bad then, not too bad. Get the rest of the way in there, please. Ow, 
Oh, okay. He was pointing at the thing. I should have recognized that that's the same input that usually shows up when you were supposed to go through a door. But I was just slightly weirded out because it was just perfectly positioned. Vernal, if you would jump when I tell you to jump once you're up there, that'd be great. Thank you. I just wanted to touch the save point before I looked over here. And it was pointless to look over here. I don't know why I thought that this was a thing I should do. But, you know, I went and did it. Can't destroy these. Okay. Dude, dude, dude. So far, this isn't so bad. It's just a little spooky. I didn't see the peg there that I ended up grabbing. Otherwise, I would have obviously pathed differently. Okay, there is something up there that's going to make it worth doing this. Well, I don't know if it'll be worth doing this, but I wanted it anyway, because more spells means replacing some of these spells that I'm not as happy with. Project a shielding aura that explodes if damaged, and spire of light to deal damage from above. Well, I, as much as flame spiral has been useful for juggling, let's try spire. And barrage just kind of exists at this point, so we'll try justice. Is a shield does seem like it could be useful. Doesn't seem like it lasts long at all, though. Lasts long enough to have some utility, though. What? Oh, okay. So he sits there and queues up some stuff, and then he, do he does it. Because he sits there and reads his spell book. See, I like that. I'm always down for enemies that work like this, that are just kind of a little weird. Only really dangerous if you wait too long and let them do their thing. with other enemies though if they're ever not alone they are going to be a nightmare huh mom Colonel, i'm so happy to see you are you lost i don't really know why are you here i don't understand oh vernal i've missed you so much i love you missed you too this is definitely a trap. But how did you get here? It doesn't make any sense. Something isn't right. And so you're starting to understand? I think I am. You're not really here. You're not really alive. You're right. But there's so much I want to say to you. So many things I want to tell you about. So many times I wish you were, were there with me. But I wasn't, and I'm not. Love you. Love you too. Getting caught up in these stupid illusions? You're just like him. Rude. It's time to finish our fight. And since the telecom doesn't work here, I'm finally free to tear you apart. Try it. You've got me really pissed right now. You're nothing, Vernal. Okay, there's shockwaves off of that as well. If I'm nothing, and I win, what does that make you? Oh, now you're throwing around the filth word, huh? Okay. 
I see how it is. Ah, that's a targeted move, okay. And it's faster than I thought it was. Yeah, she is pissed. We are losing this fight first time, I would like to point out. Oh, she turns when she's doing that, huh? Okay, I thought I could get behind her and get some charge back. I knew she was gonna be dangerous, but she is a little more aggressive than I thought she was gonna be. Definitely gonna have to actually do some blocking in this fight. Still rude. Yeah, didn't expect me to block the whole lot of it, did ya? Oh, come on. I was blocking and it still hit. Wow, that attack hits really hard, huh? And that was me just making a really stupid mistake because I keep forgetting you have no protection when you do your pulse attacks. So you will just pull yourself right into death. Which, with the fact you have no control when you're doing that, like obviously you choose when to initiate it, but the fact you have no control over your pathing or anything really makes that seem like a bad idea. She has a follow-up to that. That's unblockable. I did it again, but I got away with it that time. Oh, that was a different move. set of pretty good hits there. What I really need to do is just get a measure of her range and start standing just out of her max range so she baits herself into me. That's how you beat somebody with a slower, more powerful weapon. Unless you can get in their range and keep in there, which with how she's teleporting, we can't do that. What an absolute pathetic display. The fact you thought you stood any chance is an insult, and you'll die here no better for having tried. How about we don't do that? How about you die? Have you considered dying today? You can... but there's no way... you're human. Am I, though? Am I? You know, things seem really bad here. It seems like it's a good idea to get the hell out of here at this point, huh? It really seems like everything's kind of gone horribly wrong. What? Hello, small child. Thank you for waving at me, small child, I guess. You've also got a really big sword just kind of hanging out next to you for some reason. Also, it looks like we gained a new technique, because I see a new meter there, so presumably whatever that left trigger move we gained is, we actually get to keep that. Let's see, she was waving... 
this way a bit. She was either gesturing for me to go to the right or waving for me to go this way. I can't, I couldn't really tell which way she meant me to go. Now you're here, huh? Hey there, bucko. What did you call me? Yeah, it's just a greeting. Say, you look like you're here to buy some dangerous stuff, am I correct? Dangerous, huh? Can I take your intrigue as a yes? Oh, hello! Powerful attack out of taunting. With this disc, you can increase your ability to focus certain kinds of energy. Okay. Short range burst thing. I'm taking the memory point. I need more of those. Oh, boy. So what I'm hearing is I'm going to be able to find you again, because this stuff's too damn expensive for me to buy all of it. And they wouldn't lock you out of getting all of these things. There's entirely too much here. So... I feel like I should just keep getting more memory points. Because if I get any of these things, I won't be able to use them because I don't have the memory points anyway. It's either that or I get burst, but if this is a short-range attack, I don't know if I'd really be using it, because most of my magic comes in handy when I'm not near my opponents. So yeah, I think I'll just take the one of the more expensive memory points. Not as exciting as he made it sound, but still useful. Am I right for thinking, by the way, that we ended up at the town? I just realized, looking at the way the background of this place looks, we ended up somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure we're at the, the town we spent a good bit of time at. Just in, uh, spooky mode. Spooky unreality mode. Oh, I see. The ledges are a little harder to discern in this color scheme here. I'm getting the idea. There's a lever over there, too. Got most of them so far. Just one to go. And... Bung, memory point. Good news, keep getting yet more of those. Once we grab that one, I'll actually put some stuff on then because I didn't think the two memory points I bought were going to be enough to do much with. Three though, I think three might be enough to make an actual change. Yeah, because that gets... Oh, we actually have four open spaces though because I didn't use one of them. Either way, that gets a swift slice back. Unless I wanted mana vengeance, which I don't really need. Some more money. Huh. Interesting. What I find interesting about that is we ended up back down where we were. So I'm wondering if we do come back here at some point, because if it almost feels like there's movements I cannot make right now. Unless we gain whatever would let us get there in here somewhere. Which is always a possibility. I wouldn't rule that out. Oh, not yet anyway. The only way that gets ruled out is when we actually make it to the end of this segment. Which that really depends on how long this section is. Is there anything else further back here? No, there's just death. Okay. 
That's what I figured. So let's climb back up here again and give this another shot. See if like hitting the jump at a different an angle works out better for us. Nope, we still end up at about the same height, even when I delay the dash to try to hit the wall better. We just got that random person there. Okay. Hmm. Like, I'd go back to the merchant, but I don't have enough money to do anything with him right now. That's just off the edge. This is where our ship would be, but obviously it's not here in this weird unreality that we're in right now. So that begs the question, how do we get out of here? What's the deal with you two? Wah, what was that? Postures defensively. <laughs> Whoa, uh, I didn't expect to find someone down here. Just saw a floor I could break, so I broke it. Sorry. Really? Well, you gave us quite a shock. No harm done, I suppose. What exciting people live up here. Or don't you agree, no knave? Relaxes and bows deeply. It's been so f refreshing to spend time here in Rosales, even with that troublesome s storm hanging overhead. Everyone has been so welcoming and helpful. Joins his hands in the shape of a heart. To repair that kindness, we've undertaken a quest to rid the people of the giant monstrous rats that lurk in the dark alleys and murky corners of this noble town. Gen gestures emphatically implying rats of some uncertain but frightful size. I already like no knave. <laughs> I haven't seen any giant rats, maybe some big ones. Well, of course, we're working our way down from the top, so it's mostly big rats that are remaining. Nods thoughtfully. Good for you. Okay, and that's all they have to say. I wonder... Do they not realize what's happening right now? They mentioned the storm, so I figured they'd understand what's going on, but maybe they don't. Aren't you church knights supposed to be taking care of all the monsters that have been appearing? Church? Look, lady, I'm not with them. Well, you have a sword, so you can, can you at least try to do something about it? I've been killing every monster I see up till now. Do better. Bitch. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, hello. Give me that. Hmm. I can only wall jump once, so I can't actually reach that. This makes me sad. Insert telltale will prompt if Drac will remember this. I'm angry at the, the lay of the land right now. There's another one up there. We we must get like some multi-jump or something. Now we're back where we originally fell into here from. Oh. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume this is important. It's over. Oh, that got rid of all the fog. Huh. Not the result I was expecting. Guess I should have. Vernal, you're alive. Oh, thank heavens. I've been searching for you everywhere. When the unreality storm surrounding this island suddenly cleared, I had a strong feeling that it was your doing, somehow. I'm curious to know what happened, but we should discuss it in person. I'm at the dock on the west side of town. Oh, you got here fast. Must have just been convenient timing. Now, the question is, with the unreality storm gone, is everything here basically the same as it was during the storm, or did things change? Still don't have a map of the area, so it's not like I can quickly and easily verify that. 
Oh, you defeated the monster? Finally, I can get some sleep. Yeah, I defeated the, the orb that was in the basement. Okay, you still have nothing else to say. So I guess we're in a different town. It just is similar enough construction that I thought it was the same town. We'd think that'd be our map, but it isn't. Hmm. And we have a health extension item. The other side of a barricade. And I wish to have it. And it seems like getting to it's just as easy as going like this. Or not? Hmm. I feel like that should have lined up, but apparently I am incorrect. Because I think what it did is it automatically put me at a predetermined appear point rather than the height I entered the screen from. So that's upsetting. Because for how far we dropped, there's no way we would have gone that much further past this point. That's not the button I wanted to hit. Then again, we did fall decently far. Maybe I did genuinely just fall too far. No, because we literally just went right around this corner. And the thing we're looking for is right under us. So you would think going right around this corner would be sufficient to do the job, but it isn't. So there must be something that gets past that barrier at some point, then. Hey, kid. Kid's still just hanging out being a kid. I'm just quickly scouting back around this place to make sure we didn't miss anything. It's looking like we'll have to come back later for most of these things, so we may as well get on our way out of here. Okay, I found a hidden target dummy. Interesting. Not really sure what the point of that is, but, you know, I guess we might figure that out someday. Okay, he's here in reality, reality, too. That was one of the things I was curious about, which now makes it make sense that he was there at all. It just goes to show that people aren't that fussed about these unreality storms unless they're flying through them. Which feels kind of weird, considering the entire world seems to, like, shift wacky colors and more monsters show up and everything, but I guess if there's nothing you can do about it, really ain't much worth stressing over it, huh? I'm very glad to see you're well, Vernal. There's been a few developments on my end that I want to share, but first I must ask, what happened to you, and how did you end up all the way out here? Well, I punched a lady a bunch, I saw my mother, then she got cut in half, and then I made a rift, it, it was a whole thing. I see now, your sword, the Pulse Edge, it creates rifts into unreality. These rifts are wide enough for objects and people to travel through, but that means that huge portal, Vernal, Asphodel must be planning something monumental in scale. Well, if we could just find him, he'd be dead already. Our searches so far have been totally pointless. We haven't found anything. On the contrary, I believe our efforts have proved quite fruitful. That object you found in the Arboretum, I was able to repair it with some of the tools left on the ship, along with that crystal you brought back from the mines. I've discovered that its original purpose must have been some sort of advanced compass. It's a device used for returning to somewhere hidden. I believe this may be the key to finding where Asphodel has hidden himself. Does this will help us get there? I believe so, yes. But there are more, th more of these objects. I recognize their use from my time in Asphodel's service. So they're most likely still held by those like me. Other shells. Find the shells and find Asphodel. Sounds easy enough. Precisely. I'd start by trying to find ways into unreality. You should be able to bypass some of the storms if you use those entrances. Go back in? You mean on purpose? Why, yes. My theory is that you emerged from the portal. It somehow cleared the unreality storm above the island. 
If you do the same elsewhere, it may give us access to more searchable locations. Cherville, a bit more happened in there than I told you. And reality is largely a mystery to me. If it was too much for you, then we might we, then we can always find an alternative route. No, it's alright, I can handle it. I just You asked me before about why I wanted to kill my father, Asphodel. Because he left us, my mom got really sick, and instead of helping us, he just left. I wasn't even born yet, and he left my mom and me to die. That's why I came to kill him. I see. It's not too different from my own motivations, I suppose. Yeah, but I didn't know about any of this before I met you. All this church stuff, his research, none of it would have mattered to me. I just wanted him to die. I still want him to die. Indeed. But this isn't just about our desire for revenge any longer. Whatever his plans are, if they succeed, something catastrophic may happen. And I don't think anyone but us stands a chance at stopping him. Yeah, let's go kick his ass. I suspect that this is where Asphodel is hiding. This weird, shimmery, pink and green place. Why does it look like that? This area seems to be displaced in higher dimensional space. Once we have all the remaining compasses, we may be able to triangulate its real position and navigate there without the ship being torn apart across dimensions. Sure. Our best bet at clearing the storm seems to be finding a new portal entrance somewhere else. Navigating on reality, and then emerging where the storm is located, doing this may lead us to the remaining compasses. Well, first step, where the fuck are we now? Okay, so we're... We already knew we ended up in Rosalis based on what the little girl said. Uh, the Flying Fort is over there now, which explains why it disappears sometimes, is because it can apparently navigate the fog, so it was traveling around as it pleases. So there may be a connection between the church and Asphodel entirely, then. I don't know why it's treating this as an unexplored location, but we'll quickly land and pop back up just so it counts as having been visited. So I remember that it's been visited. Outfield Island. I mean, it just looks like a field. Am I going to end up playing baseball over here? Is that a thing that's going to happen? This is called Outfield Step right up, step right up. You there. How would you like to be our next contestant? What is this place? This, my lady, is Haircut's future number one entertainment destination, the baseball cage. Folks from all around come to cheer as our athletes perform incredible feats of speed and skill. Uh, there's, like, nobody here. Uh, well, as you see, we've only recently gotten up and running. But as soon as word gets out, there'll be fans lining up to get in. Just wait and you'll see. You look quite capable. Would you like to try it out and see for yourself? This looks like a waste of time. I'm just gonna leave. No, wait, I mean, are you sure you want to leave before you've heard about our fantastic prizes? Prizes? Her? Yes, the first contestant to score over a thousand points in our challenge will take home this rare and ancient disc. So what do you say? Let me know if you want to give it a try. Free admission. I mean, it's free. Also, I... I hate that I was right saying that this was going to be baseball, but it was called Outfield Island, so it was kind of obvious. Ah, uh, sure. Great, the machine's all ready. Step up to the plate in the room to the right to begin. Try to score a thousand points within the time limit. Good luck. I assume I just have to keep hitting these. Oh, I see. You have to hit him back to the net. And the longer you juggle them, the higher your score goes. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm getting the idea, but I'm probably gonna have to redo this at least once. Okay, I can't hit them with the pulse move. Wow, I can't believe I recovered that one. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I just got the mojo going and they fucking took it away. Wah. 
you managed to get 645 points that game. Unfortunately, that's not quite enough. Try again soon. Yeah, I'll give it another shot. Now that I understand what I'm doing, this shouldn't be too bad. This arguably should be easier than that fish game. Considering all it is is just juggle. Well, and then launch. I'm gonna regret trying to go for... Yep, I knew I was gonna regret trying to go for a fancy move like hitting all of them at once. Because I used the wrong charge move. Uh, the way she charges is really an issue at times though because I don't have as much control as I would like over where my attack lands. Like, that kick is probably my best shot. Wow, really? How did that go so much worse? I guess there's a... It's a finite number of balls, not a finite amount of time? Which means I can get away with sitting there and just juggling a pile of them as long as I manage to score them. So basically, I just need to do what I did before and not fuck it up this time. Yeah. So if I can just synchronize these a little bit. Like, I either need them synchronized or asynchronous enough that I don't miss any of the valuable ones. Fuck, it again. I know what I'm doing wrong now. It's my st basically my standing air attack is my kick. I thought it was the, the moving forward air attack, and that's where I was making the mistake. Because if I just did the kick, we would have scored those. It was just fine. That should be a higher score than the last one. Yeah, 70... 725. I just need to get a collection like that going and then just kick them all and we're we're solid. This really isn't that hard. I just keep doing my wrong inputs. Uh, that was weird. I pressed the attack button and she just didn't attack that ball for some reason. And that one I just dropped. That one's my own fault. I do like that all these mini games exist in here, though. These, are, they are genuinely fun, even if they frustrate me at times. Okay, that works too. been a good shot if I hadn't ended up just above it when the kick went through. Yeah, that one was worse. I thought I had it figured out, and then I realized, no. No, I didn't. And I don't think hitting them all back immediately is a good idea. I don't think that will work at all. be a good scoring bit there. 650 right off the top. This sure ain't how baseball works, but you know what? I'm kind of happier that way. Because I really thought this was just going to be like a batting cage where I'm just expected to just hit them all without missing too many. Really? Am I going to end up just short? Nope. 
it just didn't count up quick enough. We blew past the needed score. Great job, as promised, here's your fantastic prize. Be sure to tell everyone where you got it, okay? Defensive stance. That might actually be useful. What does it do? 15% less damage taken, 10% damage... 10% less damage dealt. Equip it to perfect the technique. Oh, equip its opposite to perfect the technique. Okay, so if I get an offensive stance and defensive stance, they won't cancel each other out? They'll do something good? Okay. Well, goodbye, Swift Slice. Let's take that. Dealing less damage isn't going to be great, but we do take enough less damage that it's worth it. Ah, the air smells nice here. I might climb some stuff. Oh my, I seem to have forgotten what that's like. Climbing stuff? Smelling the air. I can barely make out a memory of how crisp it can be on the mountainside. Right, no nose. Rip. That was vaguely worth doing. And at least it was entertaining and, like I said, definitely was less frustrating than the fish because I wasn't getting smacked around by a bunch of little blue fish that were just laughing at me the entire time. It sure is a pain to get around up here. Why do these islands need to be flying anyway? The method in which they fly is quite fascinating, actually. It's just like magic or whatever, right? Same stuff that makes rings work? Something similar, yes. Our ship here is able to fly because it funnels magic current through rings installed on its sides. I assume your sword is that way as well, but have you noticed that the islands are distinctly not ring-shaped? Huh? Weird. How do they do the funnel thing, then? Of that I am still unsure. My remaining memories seem to suggest it has something to do with our work with Asphodel prior to the rising. Perhaps these storms attract more current than we thought, and the islands were lifted by the resulting swell. Hmm. So, you don't know why they're flying? Well, it is an ongoing field of study. Uh-huh. I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yes, yes. Wild green. This looks interesting. What's this? Pyramid trial. It's only threat level one, so that's interesting. What about this little rock over here? Just a rock. I don't believe you. I'm sure it's not just a rock. There's gotta be something over here. Maybe it's even just a boulder. See, it had money on it and a memory point. You can't you can't fool me, game. There's always something more than just a rock. Fungal ruins. Spooky shimmering giant building. Ooh. Vision goes all weird when we go in there. We seem to be locked off from going here as well. Or at the very least, there's a unreality storm there. Which we might be able to land there, actually. Since we learned that we can apparently land where those are, even though they said at the very beginning that we can't. They don't, they don't seem to really know whether it's yes or no there. There's the Arboretum again. So, yeah, we flew back to where we were before. So for sake of trying it, let's fly back over to this one, the one that we shouldn't be able to land at, and we can land here. Okay, but it's got an unreality storm over it, so why is it not different? I don't understand. Oh, is, there's a rift there, but we haven't activated it yet. Let's not activate that quite yet. I just wanted to know if this was something that was going to move away, or if it was going to just stay there. Really weird when it makes the screen do that. I hope you don't mind me admiring your sword skills. It's interesting to see techniques up close. Uh, alright. I didn't think scientists cared about this kind of stuff. I did have my hobbies. I vaguely recall taking part in competitions in my youth. Really, what did you play? Your father and I played competitive tennis, if you can believe. Whatever that is, it sounds lame. 
I mean, in some ways, it's not dissimilar to some of the things we do at this point. All the deflecting and reflecting and all of that. It, in some ways, has some, some things in common. Now, this pyramid trial. I feel like this is probably important. Goodness, a pyramid? This must be an ancient algan structure. The alga, huh? Know anything about them? I'm afraid I don't know much, beyond that their ruins are scattered across much of the valley and the islands above. These blue stones here, they look kind of familiar. Blue stones, you say? I do recall other researchers collecting samples of something like that, but I'm not sure what they were using it for, though. Hmm. Am I jumping higher or am I crazy? I feel like I'm jumping slightly higher in here. Either higher or faster or something. Something's odd. Oh, that just gave me full pulse. Okay. There's a timer going now. Okay. Damn it. Now, what's the point of him giving me full pulse? Because we haven't had any enemies to fight or anything to make use of that with yet. Ooh, we are most of the way through the timer, though. And we have covered, uh... Nowhere near as much ground as I would like to with the state of that timer. Well, we made it, apparently. Residual energy. Oh, wait, we're not done, though. There's more yet to be had here. Okay. But is it all on the same timer? Because if it is, we're in trouble. <laughs> It is all on the same timer. What does residual energy do? Enemies occasionally drop healing orbs in addition to money. Yes. I mean, yes. Why wouldn't I want that? Like, that just seems like a guaranteed positive. take a shortcut and it didn't pan out that time seems like it took us about the same amount of time it did last time though so i'm not certain that this is worse but the problem is it's also not better further and they expect you to make a long run that way though i think we were close to the the point where we could have gotten that shortcut though it looked like we were heading around to that also yeah that water doesn't hurt me so i can really shortcut a bunch of what i was doing by just accepting that i run through the water i think yeah this is a much better time, except for this bit. This bit went a little worse, but it's okay. Oh my god. I got caught on that just wrong enough that time. I lost a lot of time there. I think we're still ahead of where we usually are. 
Not 100% certain. I really should be using the down slam to slide around these. That's what we did the first time. It worked, but... I'm also worried about doing it in the wrong place and making a mash of that. This is deceptive, too, in that you end up right under where you need to grab there when you do that. Should be down slamming there in order to slide through that much faster. Okay, that was a pretty good time through that section. That's our best time so far. Avoid the blocks this time. That'll help our time immensely. Uh, Vernal, why did you just drop off of all of those immediately and automatically? There went our good time. We're still a little ahead of the game. But not by nearly as much anymore, because Vernal just decided she didn't want to hold on to any of those ledges anymore. I haven't gotten blasted by any of those projectiles yet. <laughs> I'm happy for that part. Oh, come on! All these times I end up having to, like, slide myself up a ledge definitely are hurting my time. Yeah, that didn't work. That was a waste. That was a terrible decision. Still not that much worse than in our best time, though, so we're okay. We can make that up. A little ahead and again now. I know I said I was going to start down slamming here, but I decided not to fuck with my flow. Since things were starting to work again, I'm just like, you know what? We're just going to roll with it and hope for the best. There we go. No fuck ups there. Okay, we got the memory point. What? I don't think we can do that. I don't think that's within our capabilities, so I think that's as far as we're gonna get at the moment. Still, we got a couple things out of it. We got a new passive ability, and we got another memory point. So, that wasn't worthless. But I need to remember that I need to come back here, so... Put that there. Uh, I think I'm actually going to leave it off here. I've still got just enough drive that I want to keep playing this. Which is a good thing, but I have something I'm going to be doing after we're done here today. In just a couple hours. So, rather than push close to the time I'll be doing that, I'm going to cut here. Send y'all all off to someone, and then get prepared for that. So I could just go all the way up to that, but I will not be streaming the other thing that I'm doing, so... There is no point in pushing all the way to that point.
Now, for those wondering, tomorrow is, as usual, since it's Wednesday, not going to be anything. Thursday, theoretically, I will have a new collab, but I'm going to keep the details of that under my hat because there's a chance that that's not working out yet. I'm going to find out tonight whether that's going anywhere or not. Like, obviously, the thing that's going to happen that day is going to happen. It's just a matter of whether it happens on Thursday or not. That's the question mark. So I'm just not going to advertise exactly what that is. But get excited that something new might happen. Uh, I still need to talk to Zeno about whether we're doing something Friday or not. Because we put a pin in it last week because she was starting something new and I didn't want to put too much on her. All in one go there. Uh, Saturday, of course, will be the Seven Days to Die lobby, as you probably gathered from when I was telling Voila that earlier, or in this very session. And then we will probably be picking this back up on Monday. So I'm probably going to forget everything I've done today. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Uh, so yeah, that pretty much brings y'all up to speed on the current doings and all of that. I just need to finish making a decision as to where we're going, and then we will go somewhere. So if I don't make a decision quickly, this may turn into a no-raid day, so I have more time to prepare. Though, honestly, I'm giving myself entirely too much time between right now. But it, it's better if I leave myself some time. And don't burn out and all of that. Of course, everybody's all excited about Once Human coming out. I see that popping up a bunch. Those two are off the table because I've raided them in the past, like, ten days, so we're throwing those off the table. That leaves... You were another recent one, but not as recent, so if it comes down to it, you'll be the, the follow choice. Her group's already well familiar with who I am and what I do. But if I don't decide on something else, that's probably where we're gonna go. So it has been a little bit, regardless of some of the other things around how that works. That's that's still a thing. Oh, and the future of Lone Fungus, by the way, is Probably there is no future. Because <laughs> with how some of that worked, I, I think it's just going to be in my best interest to just leave that to the side and be happy with what we did do with it and call it good there. And something else I should check while I have y'all here to hear it. Okay. Vernal Edge is about an eight and a half hour game. Normally, mate in an extra is twelve and a half, so somewhere between eight and a half and twelve and a half. So it'll probably be something on the order of two to three streams for if I start getting real deep into finding all of the odds and ends. Okay, so yeah, we might even finish it Monday then. Depends on how long I end up going that day. And the. The other thing that I mentioned in the tweets and such that I wanted to do better audio for is Rogue Trooper Redux. I played that game forever ago, and when I realized I could pick it, pick up the redone version of it for, th for three bucks, I'm like, yeah, I'll cover that at some point. But the voice audio for it is horrific. Like, you turn the sound effects down so the gunfire isn't blowing your ears out, and uh, you can't hear anybody talk anymore. So... 
if I can't fix that, it'll just have to rely on subtitles, and really, it's not missing that much by that, but stubborn perfectionist brain says, no, fix it first. But yeah, barring other more important, more interesting things coming up, that'll probably get covered whenever Vernal Edge is done. So that's a thing. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of just looping in a circle, but it's fine. As you probably caught earlier, Voila's doing Core Keeper, which is a fun game, and obviously I support Voila because we are friends, so I'll just pitch you all over that way. I wouldn't be surprised if in the end it all leads back to the same place anyway is to to explain what I am going to be doing later. I'm probably going to be joining Pazzy for some first descendant later on today. Cuz he mentioned playing it. I'm like, you know, I know what to do with that. I guess I'll go be helpful. It's a free game. It's not like it's going to cost me anything. And it gives me something to do to help out people that I know. So it all works out in the end on that one. And that's about all I've got. Otherwise, be good to Voila. If you, you either like her already or don't, because you've seen her plenty over here, but either way, and I will see you all on Thursday or potentially later if you end up back there, you'll find out. <laughs> good night, everybody.